Hey, Space Cowboys, it's Seasonal Frostbite, and welcome back. Um, we're going to do an unexpected Sunday live, and uh, basically, I, wanna, I went to Blick today, and I've been looking at this these products for a while. Hold up, let me get a little sip. Let me get a little sip of this. I need a little caffeine for today. So I went to Blick today, and I've been looking at these materials for a while now. Like, um, I've been looking at them, and... I just wanted to go ahead and get them. So I went to Blick to see. And we're going to talk about some new supplies um, for doll for doll making that I'm going to try out for you guys. I'm going to do, hey, Bubba, what's up, boo-boo? Hello, holy, holy weird, holy weird. That's actually a really cute thing. Hey, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to wipe and try it. Hey, guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, Sophia. It's all right, as long as, you know, be here as long as you need to. So we're going to talk about some supplies that I got at Blick today, right? And so, boom, look at this. So you guys know I am an oil painter. I got my um, degree in drawing and painting, and, you know, they they make you learn oils. And then I fell in love with oil, so I was like, look at this, water-soluble. I saw it in the store, and they had a pack, and it's by Hoblin. So I was like, let's try this on some dolls. I thought it would be really cool to do some oils and see it's water soluble just to see. Although I prefer, I prefer the, the cracky stuff, you know, the stuff that the strong stuff with the, with the thinner and all the, the stuff that's probably going to kill you if you don't use proper ventilation for that stuff. So here's another bag that we got from Blick. So we got the water soluble. Let me know if the bags are just too loud, by the way. Oh, hi, Veronica. It is so nice to see you again as well. Um, okay, so I bought, this is this is for, one, this little brush right here. Let me see if you can like, right here. This tiny little angle brush. Um, this is by Princeton, which, you know, I, I love Princeton and that velvet touch just feels good. I thought this would be really good for those of you who, um, have struggles with eyebrows because it's like you see that it's an angle, right? A lot of you guys struggle with eyebrows. So I figured this would be the really good for you guys because look, it's just like a makeup brush and it's angled. I also have this is not I didn't buy this today, but I've been saving it for this. This is a Princeton Select round a round blender. So for pastel work, I like how small it is. It's a size uh, six. It's a size six. Look, the six is right there. And then I have, of course, you know, I love me a filbert, which a filbert is something that's flat and it has those nice round curves. So this is, they're calling it an oval mop brush, but this is not a, take it from somebody who went to school. This is not an oval mop brush. This is a, this is a very thin filbert, very small filbert. I love me those round edges, even though some people like the, the sharp edges of the flat brush. I do not. And these these that I didn't show you, these are just watercolors. Um, this is for my actual, like, this is not for doll stuff. You could probably use it for doll stuff. Not this one, maybe this one. But this is just for um, my watercolor stuff. I bought a 10 yards worth of water, watercolor paper for school, like, last semester. And I've only used it two or three times. And I'm like, let me do some watercolor portraits. So I got that for that. Here's something that I haven't seen before. And it is just called Tri Liquid Glass. Um, I just kind of want to see. It's a finished resin. And it says it dries very smooth and glossy. Used for a clear finishing coat or add a color for color pores. It's like you know, it's a lot of stuff that you can use this for. So I saw it and I was just like, yo, I want to try it out. So um, I don't really know. I get it's that it's part of the pouring medium. You know, people do those, those um, pour art stuff. But I looked at this and said, maybe this will be a good, a good top coat for maybe polymer clay or something. I, I just want to try. I just, just wanted to try it out. What else we got? Well, expensive ass painters tape which you do need you do need this for for uh uh you do need this for artwork but um again that's just artwork so we're gonna pass on that let's see what else i got i got 
watercolor or not watercolor airbrush cleaner for my airbrush um i would this year i would like to teach you guys a little bit about airbrush stuff and um how to budget out your airbrush things um because this is probably like the cheapest airbrush cleaner you can get and you guys know i don't i'm so bad at maintenance with stuff i need to clean my airbrush then let me unpackage this which you guys all know you guys all know love it so bright i'm so is it is it really bright and bright bright in here let me know i can turn down i can at least turn off my lights or something because this during the day it's like four o'clock here so this is a it's a they're saying it's a, a 13 well heavy plastic flower dish i like the design but also i like these itty bitty little little wells these tiny little wells for so basically it's a it's a um you know you put your paints in it and all that kind of stuff oh thank you eduardo you, did you put any you didn't put any message for me to read and just thank you so yes oh yeah the, the tape it is the tape is bright as hell um <laughs> it's it's actually my it's just by blick but it's my favorite just because it's pink. Y'all know how I feel about pink, even though I'm 2021 and 2020, I've been trying out new colors. But yeah, this is gonna be really good. And you feel that? It's it's durable. I really wanted another um, pour, not porcelain, but another ceramic one. But uh, I keep, I just wanted a plastic one just in case. Something that I'm not gonna give a damn about. That's that's how I felt about it. Cause I love my, I love my ceramic ones. Then I got some more gouache. You guys know I've been using gouache as my paint. So these are acrylic gouache. And um, these are by Home Blend. These are acrylic. I got these two colors specifically because I'm always mixing these colors and I get kind of bored, or not even bored. I get kind of tired trying to mix in the colors. So I have these. So I've been using acrylic gouache, but I wanted to use regular gouache and here's how we're going to do that oh wait before i show you this but i got another pink color because i got this is uh what color is this rose guys making a pink pink is can be hard trying to get it you know consistent hold up let me turn this off for turn my phone off okay so this is called dorland's wax medium and I've seen a lot of people use this to like, um, let's just read it for right now. It is a translucent compound of waxes and resin to be mixed with oil paints, powder pigments, colored, uh, colored sands, dyes, and other compatible fine art materials. Excellent for encaustic painting, hot or cold wax painting, and mixed medium. Um, so basically, it's basically a sealing, a sealant kind of thing. And when I looked up uh, gouache sealant, and I'm talking about traditional gouache, not, not acrylic gouache, and I'll tell you why um, that's a good thing because acrylic gouache will dry really fast and you need all these mediums and it's like regular gouache takes a while to dry. Um, so yeah, I got this. Now the one thing I couldn't find at the store I have to buy online is called water watercolor ground. And basically that's going to turn your surfaces and make them more absorbent for watercolors. So we're going to try that on dolls this year. We're also going to try this on dolls this year. Okay. So these weren't on sale, but I still got a couple, which is the pan pastels. You guys always look, this is the, this is the goat. This is the goat. You need the pan pastels, right? So Boo boo. <laughs> I just got me some colors that I don't have. I, I've been collecting the colors for a while now, but I didn't I noticed that I didn't have a lot of pastel colors. So I just went ahead and got that. Then I bought ret dye. Now I don't I didn't even know what color I was gonna get. The price was right. I think it was like $4.99 for this entire bottle. And I just got red just because I couldn't think of co what color I wanted to use. And I kind of wanted to use it to you see how I have all these these colors in my hair. Um, I kind of want to do a test dye of this stuff. So it was perfect for doll hair, perfect for synthetic. So I got that to play with this year. Uh, let's see, what else? There's one last thing. Yeah, one last thing. 
bought me another thing of this, of my brush cleaner. Um, this year, we're going to be better at washing our expensive brushes, right? I do wash my expensive brushes, and I try to really keep up with that. But I have a big, big tub for oil, oil paints. And I decided to get a small tub for watercolors and, a, you know, gouache and all my all my tiny little stuff. Because you guys know I, when I'm oil painting, I paint big. I paint big, which next Sunday I'm going to go live and we're just going to be here. It's going to take me about six hours to complete the painting. And we're going to do a painting next Sunday. So if you guys are interested in that, you can go ahead and join me. It's not going to be doll related. I'm just going to. Do some, do some painting, do some painting. Are you going to DIY? Are you going to DIY dolls? Um, pretty much. Um, I'm kind of. So if you guys were on live yesterday at uh, www.instagram.com/seasonalfrostbite, where I went live on Instagram, we talked about the new series that's coming out Wednesday. That is it's not going to be short. Cause like, I, I still haven't really figured out what my schedule is going to be. Cause I do want to do a video, a video a week, if that's very possible. And you guys asked that you wanted to see what I'm doing behind the scenes with my own dolls, my own dolls from scratch. And I'm going to answer you guys' questions. Um, I still have, I still remember Bubba's question. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Bubba, I still remember your question and Sophie, Sophia questions. And of course, DAC, um, Dax or dolls, arts and crafts dolls. Like I think they have a, still have a channel on YouTube. Totally check them out. Um, yeah, I'm going to answer those questions and I would love it. If you guys, uh, don't know about it's called the doll makers diary and you'll be able to ask me questions about starting your own line of dolls that I know. Um, I can't tell you, I can tell you a little bit about manufacturing. Like if you're looking for factories, I can tell you about that. I did research on that, but personally, I'm trying to bring manufacturing back to the United States. So that is my focus is doing that here, right? Okay, so that is all what we have. If you guys have any more questions, let me know. And I'm going to unbox this now just because I'm kind of excited. So I perf like I said, I prefer... Like my professor, my one of my painting professors would be like, no, we want we want the real stuff. But I just wanted to see, like, does it have the same blendability as oils? And can I use that on my dolls? Because that's going to be a game changer. Because what I love about oils is that it takes a long time to dry, which means, you know what that means. If it takes a long time to dry, the blendability, girl. Girl, the blendability. It's amazing. Blend it. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. The blendability. I need the blendability. So it comes with, you know, your standard, your standard mixing, your standard mixes that they ask you when you go to, you know, if you go to uh, any art class, they're like, oh, yeah, you need your, your vermilion and your, your cadmium yellow and your umber, your yellow ochre, blah, blah, blah. So they got, Oh, they have burnt sienna, ivory black. Like, but you know, it's funny. They always tell you not to get an ivory black because you can make a black using these two colors, ultramarine and well, not sienna. It won't make a black black, but a umber will. So I'm surprised that they don't have an umber in here and they have burnt sienna. Um, ultramarine light, which is kind of weird. I wonder. Let me just open that up because that. What do you mean ultramarine light? Like, does it have white in it? I can look at the back. The ingredients, da, da, da. the ingredients are in Japanese, so I can't tell you what color if it does have white in it. You can kind of look at it. It doesn't. It looks like a pure pigment. I don't even really know about um, Hoblin's um, their water, their oils. Like I don't know how good they are, but it feels heavy. If you ever want to know about picking a good oil paint, um, yeah, it feels really heavy. Let's see, I mean. Oh, so you, so, oh, let's see. Are you going to die? You, oh, you may die. So I'm just going to work on doll hair. I don't, I don't ever dye plastic. Um, and the reason, there's a lot of reasons why, but the point is to me, it's not worth it. If the dye, a lot of the dyes don't penetrate the joints um, of the doll body. 
So this is like if you're customizing. A lot of dolls don't, um, the joint doesn't die. You know what I mean? It can always be a different, because it's usually always a different plastic, a different kind of plastic. And they just, they'll either stick that way. And to me, it's just, it ain't cute. But you could just cut it out and just like make doll, like just change out, like just change out your joints. But you have to know how to make those. Anywho, I got that. I got that for doll hair, and I I originally wanted it for this hair because like uh, I got catfish into this this hair. Um, this was supposed to be red at the top, but I just kind of want to see if I can do a gradient on some um, doll hair that I have. I have a lot of doll hair, so I'm like, can I get this kind of gradient? Because I think it would be really cool to look at. So yeah. Anyways, back to these. I'm hoping that these work out pretty good. Um, it'd be cool that you don't need a you don't need a medium. You can just use water. But I just I just wondered. It's so confusing. Like like they're saying. Look at that. Can you see that? They're saying notes on dual usage and disposal because of course you got to dispose this a certain way. Um, you still need you still need mediums that can be mixed with traditional oil color and oil mediums. The water solubility will be lost, of course, by 30 percent, which is obvious. And we're just going to try that on dolls because like an, another thing, because uh, if this works, I will just tell you all to get this. I will just tell you all to get this instead of any acrylic kind of thing, especially if you want blendability. And if you're going to spend a lot of time just like chilling, you know, like chilling chilling if you just want to spend time chilling and waiting for things to dry then you can do watercolors or be not watercolors you can do oil colors right so i i personally prefer oils over acrylic and i used to say the opposite that's the funny part but i actually tried oils and it's just like boo boo blendability that's all i could say it's like using cheap makeup versus expensive makeup one day are you going to make a mini doll of you so I don't think so. Um, everyone's been asking me that, but I'd have to do it from scratch if I do do that because uh, as much as I want to toot my own horn, there are no dolls that really look like, that I think really looks like me. You know what I mean? And then uh, I, it would definitely be a plus size doll, but Barbie's plus size body, I'm like, it's a little disrespectful to me because uh, <laughs> uh, them, titties are too, them titties are too flat and the waist is too outward my waist is more inward so one day I don't know I, I really just I don't know I don't really I don't really I thought about it but I, I don't really I don't really know it'd have to be it would have to be from scratch so because I'm just like <laughs> let me take a sip of this crack real quick I'm drinking the kiwi star fruit I really wanted the mango dragon fruit, but I feel like I drink that so often. And then at the same time we were in line, I was like, we should be supporting smaller businesses. Um, but we were already in line. <laughs> so next time, I think this, this is in 2021, this is going to be my last Starbucks drink. Um, I want to support, I want to support smaller businesses and smaller coffee houses. And even though I don't drink coffee, that's why I drink, <laughs> I will just keep sipping my tea. You know what I mean? In the meantime, we're going to enjoy this. So, um, it's 2021. Uh, I'm in the middle of editing for Wednesday's video. And, yeah, I don't, I don't even know. Like, so, you guys ask me your questions, and I'm going to answer them. I'm going to help you um, just know about materials, um, things that I, things that I can answer, like things you can do from home, but I will clarify now for the new series that's coming out on Wednesday, um, that I am an artist. So the perspectives I'm giving you is from an artist standpoint. And I'm also not trying to mass produce, you know what I mean? I'm trying to make artisan goods. So I, even though I can help you with mass, like mass productions, I, I know where you need to go. I know who you need to talk to. Um, I know tips and tricks. Um, 
I also can recommend a couple companies that even Mattel and um, Mattel and MGA uses. They're, usually it's all the same company. I can answer those questions for you. But again, after that first episode, please leave questions in the comments. As you guys know, I actually read your comments because I have to moderate. Um, YouTube makes you moderate your own uh comment section, which I've been doing for years anyway. So I have to moderate. So I have to read, read what you guys post. So I'm here. Ask me questions, ask me questions and I will answer your questions. <laughs> I'm not late. Dak! Yo, DAC 589. That's the girl dolls, arts and crafts 589. She has her channel. I was right. I said, I know she still have her channel. Go check her out sometime. Love that girl. Very, very talented artist. And yeah, yeah. But yeah, guys, y'all know, I was like, I, I was lying to y'all on Instagram. I said, you know what? I'm going to plan a live. Girl, you know, plan? Me? I do plan. I do plan. But when it comes to a live, it's just, I feel like, I feel like talking to y'all. So I'll come and talk. So if you hear, you hear. If you're not, you hear, you know, you're not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I go I go live randomly. That's why you just got to keep up with me. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, DAC says she loves me. I love you too, girl. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop being so extra. Let me just, is it the caffeine? I can only have fun, fun fact about me. Um, I'm very sensitive to caffeine. So this is as much caffeine as I can handle. <laughs> I can't have not one cup of coffee, not one. It it makes me so, um, what's the word? Anxious and it is not worth it. I'm gonna have a little bit of that. You know, I'm sipping slowly with some water. That's so, I sound like a weak ass. I sound weak as hell. You can't drink coffee? No, I drink tea, which is stronger. <laughs> Well, and I can't have much tea either. So I have to have that very early in the morning and have a little bit. I actually had to get deca I love black tea, which is like 99.9% .9 and green tea, which is 100% caffeine. Like it's so strong. I have to get decaffeinated crap, like, like some weakling. <sighs> okay. So, um, that's pretty much all I wanted to do today. It's been about 22 minutes. I'm going to give you guys um, until we hit the 30 mark, which is we're at 22 so soon. And um, uh, yeah, then we're going to chuck on out of here. Maybe because I, I do want to I got my SEOs done for Wednesday. I got my SEOs done. Hey, Spud. I got my SEO. What's, what's up? You need something? You just coming and hang out? Oh, you want to talk to me? <laughs> so I got my SEOs done. I got my, I got my title done and I got, I have to do my description. And I found out by doing my description early that I typed an entire essay in the last video, the last, uh, last Wednesday's video. So they were like, girl, you only have 5,000 words. I didn't know I could fill up 5,000 words. So let me roll back on that. Is that your man's? Yeah, that's my man's. He over there being manly and a man doing man stuff. What are you doing, man stuff? Man stuff is just sitting down looking cute. Apparently, that's that's what man stuff is. I be playing too much. So yeah, I have all that stuff ready. I have all that stuff ready, and I'm all ready up to do that. And um, this is some stuff that you guys will see on Mother Crafter. So according to the schedule this year, I'm pretty much just going to figure out what I'm going to do every week. Uh, Mad Scientist Dog Customs, I'm thinking once a month for that. I'm still working downstairs in the studio. We have to go install the new heater that came. Um, even though the weather has been like, hey, it's randomly warm, which is like 54 degrees, which is not warm. It was still cold down there, girl. It was freezing. <laughs> um but yeah, the weather has been weird, and then it got cold today. That's why I'm wearing, you know, my my Madu Chan. I don't even eat this stuff, but like the merch is cute. Look at this. It's so funny because I didn't. I refused to buy a college uh, sweatshirt, uh, and from my college, from any of my colleges that I went to, actually, and because I saw that price, though, like 
And then said, yeah, I go out and buy this. And it was probably, probably the same amount of money, but I'm just like, y'all better give me this merch for free. I'm, I'm giving y'all tuition. You know how I was like, I'm giving y'all tuition. Okay. Like a car's worth of tuition. <laughs> You know, you oh you you get out of you get out of school and you're like, oh man, I owe a very expensive car. That's how much money I spent. Uh, uh, the price of a very expensive car, and I but I can't ride on the on the degree. Well, I, physically, I mean, you could ride on it on to some job prospects. I got I got lucky. Like some people are like, oh yeah, during the pandemic, you you graduated during the pandemic, but. They get, I never got a refund from the school, from the school on my, on my suit, my, like, you know, the fees, like your football fees and all that stuff. I, bruh, I got, I got that money back. <laughs> I got that money back. And then, um, uh, what else did they give me? Oh, another good, a good thing is, um, you eating my candy? He is eating my candy, y'all. He eating my candy like, like I got that candy for him. Look at him. Just by the way, this is probably the only candy that I can actually eat these days because it's it's real sugar. And that matters. <laughs> Anywho, I don't even know what I was talking about. I, I don't. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it moving on to the next thing. <laughs> keep it on going to the next thing. I wonder, can you even I, I look so red on camera? I don't let me add a little. A little extra light so you can see me, which I hate, but whatever, we're here. By the way, how is the audio quality? No one told me that in that random live test that I did. Um, I just decided, I or not even decided, I knew that I have to come and do live because algorithm-wise, YouTube wants you to go live here. Um, and it's, it's so funny because Instagram wants you to go live there. And it's like, that's technically your boss, girl. That's that's your boss. They pay you, so you better. Or they push your content, so you better. And I'm like, I'm my own boss. So I can't I can't always do what I want, do what I want. You know what I am? Mean? We know what I mean, but also I still do what I want. I'm a brat. <laughs> Girl, what do you mean? I just like, so I had to... YouTube really, really likes people going live. They really, really do. And even though my channel has as much subs as it has, I'm literally starting from scratch um, uploading. And I realized that. And um, yo, boo boo. <laughs> this is gonna, basically this is just gonna help, help with the algorithm and kind of stuff like that to just put some more content. Cause you know, I can do a video once a week no problem. No problem, boo-boo. Anywho, let's keep on talking about um, the schedule. So I'm still thinking Wednesdays. I'm thinking Mad Scientist Doll Customs once a month. Not that I need a month to do a doll, but I probably, I think the most time, the more time I give myself for that, the better. Or maybe every two weeks. I just have to get the studio downstairs in a more working order. Like it's still, it's still a hot mess, man. It is a hot mess and it's so much work to do. Like, um, and honestly, it's at the point where I'm just going to, I'm like, uh, what did I quoted her in my live? Um, Evelyn from the interwebs. She said, don't be afraid to be seen out here trying. And I'm like, I've never had a problem showing my mistakes or showing what I'm doing. So I'm going to do that. And um, I was supposed to make a live for a patron or not live. I was supposed to make a uh, studio studio vlogs for a patron. And I'm like, I, like, I only have two patrons right now. So I'm like, it's really hard to prioritize two people in that aspect. Like I try and try and try, try to do it, but it's like, um, I'm losing money by not sharing from sharing to everybody. Right. So I have to break that up. So when I went back to my live, right, I had to download all of my lives and all of my um, all of my stories from that. And I even had to record myself talking about some of the footage that I went through. So I, I have to go through and look at hundreds and hundreds of videos right now. And that's ooh, I have to I have to do that. And I have to figure out how I'm going to basically honor my patrons. Cause I, I will have to say, I will admit, um, when I first got patron, 
it was a fun time. We had like we had like five five people. We had we had like five or ten people. But the problem was with that is that I was going to school when I had patron. And yeah, it was it was a hot mess. It was a hot mess. I I, I realized that I was promising things that didn't make sense. You know what I mean? Like you guys, a lot of people who were the patrons in the beginning were patrons to see more content. And I was making content for them, but not making the content that I promised. So it's kind of really hard to keep up with all of that, especially that patron, like, um, patron on mobile. Like, let me show you, like, um, it's trash. Like it, it, it could use a lot more. It, it doesn't make it easy to, to make posts. Like I couldn't, I couldn't even show you my activity, right? I could not even show you my activity, which is not even cute. And it don't even make sense. You know, it doesn't even make, it doesn't even make sense. So anyways, Look, oh, we hit the 30 mark. All right. I'm going to go ahead and go and expect to see a lot of this stuff on Mother Crafta. We're just going to do some tests on it. And then on Wednesday, I will do the doll. I will start the first entry in the doll maker's diary. And I can show you what I've been doing behind the scenes a little bit. Um, but again, I'm going to go in super depth on patron, which here's what I mean by that. Um. Patron gets special tutorials, right? They get special tutorials. So the footage that I'm going to show you on Wednesday will be specifically for Patron and meaning the tutorial aspect of it. But the vlog aspect of it, I will give it to you guys. And that way everybody is happy because Patron will also get that. And they will get the tutorial for what I'm doing in the footage that I'm showing. And I have to compile a lot of it. Hey, Medusa Magic. Oh, Y'all calling me queen. Oh, my head, is it any bigger? Is it? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all are so sweet. Y'all are like the kindest people. And I'm glad that the kind people find each other. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm queen. <laughs> That's so sweet. I'm going to take a, take a little... Look, y'all got me doing the black people leaving the video. Love you, Sue. Also, Medusa Magic, I feel like I've seen you a couple of times before. Are you are you following me on Instagram? Let me know, because I like to remember y'all. I like to talk to y'all and remember y'all. And, you know, we be having a good time. We having a good time. I like your hair very much. Thank you. You know what? Can I tell y'all a funny story? Not a, a funny short story because we're supposed to be on our way out, right? So um, I did this. I did this in my hair. We did this on live. I went live on Instagram and we did my hair, right? Um, and I was talking to Mr. Galaxy on there. And as soon as I finished, I got on. I sent a photo to my mom and she was like, oh, oh, okay. And then I see her in person. By the way, I don't like your hair. That's what she said to me. And I was just like, okay. She's like, she's like, let me do your hair. I was like, my hair is already done. Okay, well, let me do it again. I was just like, the shade, mama frostbite, the shade. Oh my God, she shaded me so bad. Yes, I'm following you. Thank you for following me. But I feel I still feel like I've seen you a lot. Um, I see your comments and stuff. I remember. So, yeah, like she just shade me and was like. Ugh. So then for Christmas, y'all saw my Christmas look. I I did. I went live randomly, right? And I had like I had the flower crown because I, I love me some flower crowns, right? They just make your hair pop. Um, so I put the I put my flower crown on. I had like this dark witchy, but I got called out. They said that's not witchy, but I'm like, what if I'm a good witch? Like, what I when I think of dark lipstick, I think witchy. That's just who I am. That's my core center. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so goofy. So she goes, and I think she meant this as a compliment, but it was backhanded. I was like, really, mom? She goes, oh, Kendra, you look like. You look like, um, what did she say? She said, you look like we should be offering prayers to you because you like, you know, you're serving me goddess teas or something like that. But the way she, you have to hear the way she said it, it was so backhanded. And I just said, Ashe, like, <laughs> yeah, 
okay. I said, I'm, I'm the goddess here and I'm here to look, you know, she said, we look, I look like that. She could, uh, she said, I look like that I'm supposed to be given offerings. So, you know, they're supposed to give me offerings. And I said, go ahead. What offerings at? It's Christmas. Where are my presents at? So I do do what I love, but my mama, my mom was a Sagittarius as well. You know, I'm a Sagittarius, sad gang all day and my brother, but so she gonna say what she wants. And I just be like, damn, like when she, when she says stuff, I just be like, you getting up in that old age, huh? <laughs> she just says whatever she's, what's on her mind, but I can't say it's old age. She's always been like that. I don't, like, I just want you guys to know it, it, it doesn't get to me. I just be like, really? You clowning me now? I'd be like, really? Jeez, you're a living goddess. Thank you. But yes, Mama Frostbite, she, she ain't got no filter. And also, Happy New Year, darling. Happy New Year. Oh my God, Happy New Year. I will say, like I, when I did my post earlier, I really just, how can I explain it? I didn't have like a thought about what day it was. It felt like December happened and then, oh my God, my birthday happened. Then my, Okay, my mom's birthday happened, then my birthday, then my brother's birthday. And then it was like, it's all right. Christmas was kind of like a blur. And then all of a sudden it's New York. Where are you now? I am currently in my office. I'm currently in my office. Uh, I live in Gwinnett now. I don't live in Powder Springs. Still closer. Are we closer or further than Atlanta? I don't know how words work. I don't know how, I don't know how that stuff works, but yeah, this is this. You can see the, the front of my uh, house kind of, you know what? Tell my mama to make my curtains. She didn't want me to pay her. She, I paid her for all the curtains in my house, but this was supposed to be, the curtains in here are supposed to be a gift. And so now when I'm editing at night, people can see me. People are like, no one, no one's that nosy. I live in a, I live in a neighborhood. People mind their own business, but still, I hope to get rid of this virus this year. And yes, I can see it. <laughs> so, uh, I, I hope so too. Um, but in the meantime, you know, be safe. Um, I, I've already kind of made a sacrifice because I, if you guys don't know me that well, in the sense that when it comes to my friends, I do not play. I love my friends. Like, I love, love my friends. I, I liked, I, you know, birthdays, um, birthdays, conversations, words of wisdom. I get them from my friends and I sacrifice spending time with them so I could spend time with my family during this entire pandemic because, um, cause I need my family, you know what I mean? But we've been on discord. Like I have a friend's discord and I talk to them all the time and I'm like, bruh, I miss my friends. So if you guys are watching, I miss you so much. Oh my God. Like my friend Kenneth, my friend Kenneth has, he goes uh, as water, water ward on Instagram that is the only person on this earth who can bring me down to earth. Like he clowns me and I actually laugh. He is hilarious and he's very talented. He just graduated. So if you're watching Kenneth, uh, congratulations again. Like that is a, that is great. Cause he, he did that all in quarantine, man. I didn't have to spend my entire senior semester in quarantine. It was towards the end. I like your energy very much. You are always positive and you always give po gave po the positive energy. That word, that word. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Personally, personally, I feel like it, um, I have to thank my mother in that aspect because even though she'd be shading me, even though she'd be, she'd be, she'd be shady. Like if my mama was a tree, she'd be the shade, the one that gives the most shade. She'd be like, the shadiest of the trees, you know what I mean? But she also gave me the most, the most confidence, you know? And I would have to say my sister too, because there is nothing you could say to my sister <laughs> that is going to bring her down. And so those were, those were the biggest like confident boosts in my life, you know? They be shading me, but that's just all part of family and all part of fun, you know? My parents never made me feel weird, like especially my dad, because he's weird. They never made me feel weird. Which singers do you like? Um, I like a variety of singers. Um, I like Umi. 
I like Ari Lennox. I don't know why I have to pop my tongue like that. I like Ari Lennox. I like, ooh, uh, what is his name? Um, Daniel Caesar. I like, oh, there's this new person I've been listening. Hold up. Let me look. I can't play nothing on here because of monetization and demonetization. But I can at least show you my library. Um, let's see. Umi. Oh, okay. So this band, I love them so much. I got to see them in person. They're from Decatur. They got signed recently. They're called Hero the Band. Um, my favorite, my favorite album right now from them is not Labrat. What is the name of it? Let me just, let me just look. Like, cause Back to Myself was really good. I can't remember the name of the album, but um, the Hiroshima album is really, really good. And what is the name of the album? How do I look? I don't know, but I I like a lot. I like a lot of rock music. I like a lot of R and B, a little soul. I like ooh, give me give me give me dancing. That's all you got to do. There is a kind of plant behind you. It is very beautiful. What is its name? It's called a bromeliad, and she she kind of not doing well right now. Um, so this was the so this was the flower in the middle. I had to cut it off recently because that's just what happens. It wasn't a flower. It looked like leaves and I thought it was leaves and it's not. I love Lady Gaga. That's good. Lady Gaga is good, good, good. She good. I like. I actually like um, some Lady Gaga. Not enough to have it on my playlist, but I do love listening to her. When she pop up on the radio, you know, be like almost like a guilty pleasure a little bit, especially the the new song that she came out with, the, the visual album or not visual album, the visual that she gave us in her last music video was really, really good. Um, ooh, SZA. I like I like a lot of stuff. Dreezy. Ooh, I do love me some Megan Thee Stallion. Her new album. I didn't like the Sugar album very much. It all kind of sounded like one note, but I did enjoy her new album that came out. Look, I got Yellow Card. I got War. I got Rihanna. Pink Sweat. Your hair looks like her new music <laughs> It does, doesn't it? It really does. She be serving us some looks, doesn't she? Like, oh, rain on me. Yeah. Oh, my God. See, y'all got some. Y'all have some taste. I like, see, look, y'all got some taste. I like that. Some taste. Let me, let me have a little sip. I was on my way out the door, and I'm still here. Hold up. I'm still here. I'm still here. I like lives like this that are very chill because not only can I answer your questions and um, we get to know each other a little bit. It's nice. Enjoy your meal. My meal. Technically, you know, I'm technically fasting. So yeah, this is technically, yeah, it is definitely a meal. Hello. Hello, Kimmy. Kimmy Cott. That's just really cute. It's okay that you're late. I'm, I'm always late. Would you would you apologize for? Don't apologize. Well, you didn't apologize. Good. Don't apologize. This year has been very interesting. You're telling me <laughs> it's been something like so. Did you guys see on Netflix? They did a they did a death to 2020. That's the name of the like a short movie. Um, the way they way they were talking about it, I was like, yeah, it kind of feels like it didn't happen. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it just feels like someone wrote this. Like, a, this feels like a a really bad written dramedy. It has to be dramedy because some of the stuff that's been happening is absolutely hilarious. You just have to laugh. And there's something I can do but make terrible jokes. Like, I'm like I'm Gen Z. Like, my nep niece and nephew just laugh at it. Like, oh, my God. Um, I'm trying to keep awake. I'm super tired. I basically pulled an all-nighter. Kimmy Kong, boo boo. We in this house, we get rest. I appreciate you coming here, but get some rest. As some, I have, I actually have short sleep syndrome, and what that means is like, I on a regular just get about four and a half hours to six hours of sleep, and I feel fine. Which, um, and it's like, so I, if I need my sleep, you need to get get you some sleep. It's okay. We're going to go live more often. This is not going to be a rare occurrence. And um, 
Yeah, I because I I'm trying to clean, I'm trying to clean seasonal frostbite up. Like I have to come up with a new channel banner and everything because I changed my colors to be more dark and moody because that's my I'm not, I would say when I say dark and moody, why it's not a bad thing. It's it's lived in, it's cozy, you know what I mean? Let's see. Um, same, but like, yeah, I should sleep now. Yeah, get some sleep. I appreciate you coming and support me. Um, did you see the Wretch series on Netflix? I have not seen it. Let me look that up. Let me look that up. Because um, right now I'm waiting to watch Bridgington. I saw the first 10 minutes and I said I have to watch this with my mama. I used to pull all-nighters, but I'm 32 now and I got to have seven hours. <laughs> Heather Nicole, boo-boo. Yes. Yes. Get some sleep, Kimmy, Kimmy Cott. Thank you. And I listen, Heather. I feel you. I feel you. I can. I, I like. I said. I have a genetic condition. That's what. That's what they're calling. It. They think it's in my genes. I get it from my mom. Um, but basically, basically, um, four and a half hours of sleep, and I'm good. And I cannot. I, if you ever see me up late, which you guys always see me up late, especially on Instagram. Um, I do not. Oh, it is. 4 41 p.m. And hey, what's up from Turkey? Hey, it is nine o'clock at night. Okay. So my short sleep syndrome, I cannot go to bed early. Um, so what is if I can, but here's what happens. If I go to bed like a normal person, like maybe 10 o'clock, eight o'clock, um, I'll wake up around 11 to 12 o'clock period, naturally, and be fully, fully awake. So I try to go to sleep at 1.30. And if I wake up at, if I go to sleep at 1.30 or two o'clock around those times, I will wake up in the morning. And I, I need to have my mornings because it's, I love the sun. I love the sun. And yeah, it's so funny. I love nighttime. So I get the best of both worlds. But if I sleep at five, and I have been going to bed at five um, uh, during the weekends, which is really bad. Go to bed at five, wake up at 12. Like you go, you wake up at 12, you wake up at one o'clock, depending on how late you wake up. So I, my body will not allow me to get a lot of sleep. I have to be really sick if I get at least seven hours. And, and if I get seven hours, that's some good sleep. But I wake up groggy when I oversleep. I watch tons of TV series. Have you watched um, Wentworth? What are y'all, where are y'all watch? Okay, hold up. Let me first... The Wretch series, The Wretch. Let me look that up first. R-E-C, Wretched, Netflix. Here we go. Netflix. Oh, look. Actually, is it even available? Is it even available for me? Nothing's popping up for me. I have Netflix. Uh, oh, okay. Johnny, but with Johnny English? Is that what is that what we're talking about? That's the first thing that pops up. I think that might be his name. I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up. Send me send me some stuff on Instagram. Um, let's see. The other thing is Wentworth. 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 Drama. Ooh, what's this about? Who are these people? That girl. That girl's hair is fly. I love a man in a suit. I love a man in a suit. Is this? Why are they dressed the same? And jumpsuits in the thing. It's an Australian drama prisoner. So y'all wear that in prison? Hold up. Those are kind of cute. <laughs> Wait, is this real? Like, do they really wear like hold on, let me show. Let me show. Do they really wear blue? Hold up. I mean, like, no, you don't want to go to prison, but like blue is better than orange. That's kind of cute. Cause I'm sitting here like, what? Wow. Okay, Australia. All right. I promise you will love it. All right. Let me check it out. Night Cali. When some things are region locked. So remember that Lord VPN that, okay. <laughs> I, I want to know if anyone else does this. Okay. If there's, if sometimes there's a product that you really, really want, you want to try out, right? Do any of y'all just go on YouTube and find a random YouTuber who has a sponsorship with that company and then use their code, whether you follow them or not? Do you do that? Because I, I do that. I saw you guys know that um, my magnifying glass light, uh, I 
got the the discount code from a YouTuber who does army war, war game paintings, like the the little figures and stuff. Arm the, the little war game is that what it's called? Basically, people who use the army war game paints and all kind of stuff. And I was like, thank you, thank you. I think I subscribed though, just for that, because I, I I will do that. Yes, I believe they do. It's different there. See, that's a good thing because I'm like, hold up. Like, if you're going to be a prisoner, you might as well be wearing blue because that orange and they make you wear Crocs. Did you know they make you wear Crocs? Uh, I, I called my friend. She sent me a thing with the Crocs and I said, girl, you're officially old now. <laughs> Not that they're not a comfortable shoe. I refuse. I didn't like them when they came out and I refuse. I don't care how comfortable. I saw that they wear them in prison. I ain't wearing them. Let's see. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, like miniatures. Yes, like the miniatures. I know people that get v um, VPN through apps, but I don't know how. Well, I could probably do a little research. I'm, I'm not even sure either. Oh my God, they do. Yes, apparently, Callie. Yes, yes. Like we can wear that. I could I could rock some blue. I haven't worn blue since fifth grade. Like blue, blue, like that color blue. I haven't worn something like that in fifth grade. And I'm not buying no clothes. So I could do the, the makeup look though. This is okay. I actually prefer the mango dragon fruit refresher. And I only drink it with water. Because to me, it's already sweet. And that's that's pretty much why. Okay, so. Did you guys catch the beginning of this where we talked about, um, I did, I started at the beginning of this with the, um, why do I do that? You know what? I'm going to do it. Um, uh, so yeah, we got, we talked a little bit, but, um, one of the things this year that I, I'm going to, I'm spoiling it for you now because it's on live and I'm pretty sure nobody's going to sit here and listen to myself ramble for like, a whole hour. Um, so Wednesday, the video that comes out is the doll maker's diary. I'm just going to mention since you guys just got here, you know, Bubba been here, Bubba always first. Um, but, uh, <laughs> it's also so dumb saying that, but, um, the doll maker's diary and, um, I'm going to let you guys know, you guys can ask me questions about starting your own doll line, um, where to look. Um, uh, if you're trying to build a prototype from scratch, I can tell you where to look for that. And yeah, we can, I can just ask you, you guys can ask me questions and I can try my best to answer them from what I'm doing. And we're going to, it's just a short series until my doll line comes out until endless dolls comes out. And then, yeah. And I tried to do that for endless doll houses, but you know, I'm working with mama frostbite on that. I'm working with Mama Frostbite on that. She don't understand social media. So she's just like, I don't want to do that. I was like, listen, it's going to be, it's going to be almost like a reality TV show almost, but not really. You know what I mean? Um, but kind of, because I'm going to be cutting to myself and giving my thoughts on it. So <laughs> maybe, I don't know. That'd be really cute for me though. I, I wonder if I can edit something like a reality TV show, playing back background or something. I don't know. Ooh, very excited to see then. Yes, I'm glad you guys are excited about it. Um, I just, we were, I wasn't going to do it. I was just going to do like, hey, this is what I'm doing because that part two, I wanted to talk about the Mothercraft of part two episode of episode one that I never got to because like that, I didn't, I think I should have been honest. The fact that that, that, uh, that whole, um, that whole video just, it, that's the video that made me be like, when I filmed it the first time in 2016, cause I've been working on this since 2016. And yo, I was like, I don't want to customize like this anymore. Um, I want to make dolls from scratch period. And that's what I'm working on. And I'm making a craft supply for my doll customizers for, for that audience, for you guys. So you don't have to be like, oh yeah, I'm always trying to change the skin tone. You can. I I just pick materials that'd be easier for you guys to use and and to customize. I thought about all of that. I've been practicing face ups. However, I'm not great yet. I want to make the Monster Highs dolls Mattel didn't make. That would be fun. I would like to see that. Heather Nicole, you gotta show me. You gotta show me, Miss Heather Nicole. I would love to see that. So when it comes to practicing face ups. 
here's a here's a good a good tip for you. Think about what like what are you what are what are your strong suits and don't be critical of yourself. Just be be a do a critical analysis of yourself. Don't be critical in, in a mean way to yourself, right? Say, okay, do I, are you good with pencils? Can you, are you good? Are you, do you have sturdy hands? Can you do the pencils? Um, are you good at painting? Okay. Figure, figure that out, figure out what you're good at first. And then what you're the weakest at work on that. Like, if you guys don't know, I was very, very terrible at, um, wheel throwing and pottery. And probably because my nails were long as hell and I refused to cut them. Like I refuse. I spend too much time, right? And so I took a I took a, a class at my school. I took literally, it's an advanced class called wheel throwing. That's it. So that's just being on the wheel, going in a circle. And I threw, the class was set up to where all you had to do, we had a quota, throw a hundred pots, no matter what it is, just throw a hundred things on the wheel. And I got, I did a hundred of them and then I was good. I'm still not the best, but I can at least make a bowl and make sure it doesn't crack in the middle so you can actually use the damn vessel. You know what I mean? So practice really, really like practice really makes perfect. I, I hope, like, I, I, I wonder if I have a picture of some of my very first dolls. Um, and this is the person who, I'm a person who's been like, doing art stuff my entire life. And I wasn't that great at it either. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find some of my older works. And, you know, I was not, I was not proud. I was not that proud. Well, we can even look at some of, now nah, let's just keep going. I'm, I have like over something thousand posts on Instagram. So <laughs> I remember there was a new follower who liked all my posts Every, all thousand posts. And I was like, that's a, that's a little excessive. But, um, I said, I, I wouldn't even want to go back there. They, they liked stuff that I didn't even remember existed on, on Instagram. But I did tell you guys, if you see something from mother crafter that I did, if I have a video of it, I would post it on mother crafter. Some customizers use nail acrylic instead of epoxy sculpt. I have been using, um, acrylic for some stuff. See, this is the thing about about that, um, when you use nail acrylic, I have seen that, but price wise, you're getting the same price. If you guys know how expensive acrylic is, it is very expensive. I know y'all know how I do my nails. It's expensive versus epoxy sculpt, but I would say it's, you can find acrylic anywhere. You can go to your local beauty supply and find you some acrylic, you know, dedication. That is dedication. I believe poopy. <laughs> Hello, neon poopy. Okay. That that's that's what you came here to say. Really? Anyhow, <laughs> I'm being a little shady. See, I, see I, I I'm I'm related to my mama. <laughs> Let me stop. I'm still I'm still looking for some of my um my shorty work. Auto correct <laughs> laughing my ass off. <laughs> Look, neon. <laughs> that's terrible autocorrect. <laughs> Oh, trying to let me say that you're trying to say the F word and it says it comes off as ducking. And I'm like, yeah, I guess I'm ducking. Let's see. Autocorrect said hello. <laughs> God, Night Kelly's funny. Okay. Look, I'm just trying to look at some of my beginning work and it was, it was shawty. It was shawty that I'm looking for that very first custom and I remember it so well because it snowed a lot. It snowed a lot that year, and um, I'm from Georgia, so when it snows, everything shuts down. And the one time we didn't, it snowed. It snowed um, a lot, a, like a lot, a lot. I can't even explain it. It was too much. Let me look. I'm still looking. I have a lot. Oh, look how look how stupid this photo is. That was at Georgia State, and it was in the middle of this project where we had to do a self-portrait uh, at a cardboard. And I think the do I have the finished look on here? Yeah, here here's the finished selfie. Oh my god, God, I, ugh. I'm glad I'm glad like um I don't wear wigs now because Jesus Christ, 
uh, wigs are, oh God, they look terrible. I mean, we had, nowadays we have standards for wigs. Back then we didn't have standards. <laughs> Even funnier if it's key smash and autocorrect decide to, to fix it. That's hilarious. You just embarrass, embarrass yourself in front of, oh God, hopefully not a crush. Jesus. Let's see. Um, I took some old Polly Pocket dolls that had been chewed up. I turned them into DC comic characters. They are turning out great. Hey, you got y'all gotta send me, y'all gotta tag me and stuff on Instagram and show me your pictures. I just I love to see other people's work. I really do. Let me like let me look. I wanna see. Are we talking about all this good stuff and I wanna see. I want to see. Like I'm still struggling to find the very first. Like there's so much I could find. Oh God. Oh my God. There's so much. Cause even I I was not good at um, doing face ups. Oh here here's one of my favorite ones. Who's I think this was the second one, and that's a Laguna a Laguna uh, a Laguna Blue. And I named her Tyler because there was this black girl in school and her name was Tyler and she was tall and like the most, oh, she was so beautiful. Absolutely adored her. Um, never got to be friends with her because I think she was an upperclassman, but I thought she was cute. Yeah, here, look at that very first custom garbage. Like the quality is really bad. I was using the the, the master's touch pastels you could barely you could barely see it on her and I didn't get monster high dolls in the very beginning I got like the the cheapest of the cheap the cheapest of the cheap 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 I got them knockoff ones look the first rooting it, it was it was trash it was not my greatest work let's see Callie oh cute why did you get show why was that held for review really let's see okay smash Okay, right. The, okay, I gotta get Instagram. When I'm done, I'll upload a video on my YouTube. Let me know. I want to go watch. You know, we all watch each other. I don't know why people be pretending we all watch each other. We all know who's who. You'd have to be like super underground for somebody not to be able to watch you. You know what I mean? You probably only post videos on Facebook. That's the only way we would not know who you are. You know what I mean? We probably all seen each other. I know. I know it. How are you going to say, oh, cute? That is not cute. That is not cute. That is not cute. It was, it was basic. And I, like, you can, you can see me talking crap about myself. It was very basic. Um, it was my first time painting in, not even my first time painting in miniature. Sometimes you got to do things over and over and over. Like, here's my first ball jointed doll. And I was just curious about articulation and if I could sculpt it. And uh, yeah, that was a thing. That was a thing, guys. Oh, God. And this is what made me realize I do not like glass or eyes or anything like that. But this is before I had access to information as well. Like, that's why I'm here for you guys starting your doll journeys. Because access to information is so important. Like, um, who here follows the no nap time blog. And I'm going to go ahead and look that up because without no nap time, like I remember when customizing went a little bit, not mainstream, but when it was first showing up on, um, on, on YouTube, when it was first showing up on YouTube and it was Nicole's N Nicole dreams, Nicole dreams. And she never really talked about her supplies back then, but the no nap time blog. Yes. Periwinkle. Periwinkle is yes. Oh my God. That queen. She gave me tips in person. And um, it was, it was great. I got some painting tips from them and always listen to somebody who knows better. I don't care. I don't care if you've been like uh, painting for years like I have, you need to learn how to humble yourself and listen to the people who are more successful. Cause I, that is the best advice I can give anybody. Like her work is the best and her blog is so detailed. It is so detailed. Oh God. It is so good. 
I haven't seen them. I'm mainly a watcher of doll makers. Well, this is before there were so many of us to watch. This was like, this was like, um, you just Googled stuff. Like you couldn't find anything. And her blog was, has the most hits, the most hits for this stuff. And the most detailed on the supplies, the experiments, they're all written down. But um, with Periwinkle, they said that they wanted um, to eventually switch to a video format. But, you know, we all we all out here live in our lives. So they're, they're not really. Yes, like 2016, maybe 2015. Exactly. Around around that time. And it's been around for a long, long time. Heather Nicole says, No Nap Time was the first website I found about doll making. Exactly. Mine too. Mine too. And the person behind it, I'm not going to, um, besides Periwinkle, that, that's what they go by on the blog. I'm not going to talk about who they are, who they are. But the person behind it is such a talented artist. And not only that, she's a queen. Like, she's a boss. I'm going I'm to send this to her, but Periwinkle is a boss and I, I will always give her respect for this blog and respect in general, but Periwinkle, like she, like, how can I say it? Uh, what's that? What we call Mwah. chef's kiss. That's all I can say. Cause she has not lost her touch at all. She is just bomb. I mean, look at, look at these illustrations. Look at these illustrations real quick. Look at this woman. <laughs> like the 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 artistry. Like I oh god. Let me just when I say when I say I get a little I get a little when I talk when I talk about art, like I get a little a little excited, a little excited. Bless her for doing that work. Yes, there would be there would be no seasonal frostbite. There would be a lot of us wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her sharing information. And because she shared information, I'm very adamant about sharing information because there's no reason to keep any of this secret. Those colors. Yes. God, like she she also helped me push me through. She's like, I can't wait for you to take a painting class, girl. You don't love it. And I said, I'm probably not gonna love it. I'm probably not gonna love oils. I she was she was right. I loved it. I loved it. I still love it. Um since since uh since even those tips, um, you know, we went to we went to the 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 art supply stores and showed me all these products and I was like, oh, that's, I actually credited her in my Mad Scientist Doll Custom, the one that's not finished, the mermaid, which we don't finish this, this year. We don't get to it. Have you tried red dye to change doll body colors? I have not, but I know for a fact, especially on the blog, excuse my phone, um, Apple cases don't last for crap if you work with chemicals. Well, honestly, I didn't even work with chemicals lately. It's just crap. So, um, so I've seen a lot of experiments on that and it, it is viable. But what I have seen is that sometimes the plastic of the joints of a doll is different. So you'll have like a perfect seamless body color, but then the joints need to be replaced to match. Um, I don't know if I'll talk about that. I don't want to make this this year. I don't want to make promises that I cannot keep because I noticed that I this year I have to pack, practice better boundaries, even with you guys. I love you guys, but I have to practice boundaries. I don't want to say yes to something that I don't really want to do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't want to do that. I, I like that's what happened with Mother Craft episode, um, episode one, and I, I saw part two, and that I was so mentally drained with trying to figure out the old camera and look at all the footage and find it, and I just was just like. I don't know. I was just like, yeah, there, I could show you how to do this, but I'm moving, I'm moving away from customizing and doing dolls from scratch. Cause I'm working on my own doll line, but here's the thing. I have to use up all the supplies I bought. So I will have to be doing, I will still be doing customizing. Then I have a stop motion series coming out called the wolf pack, which you guys, I don't know if you guys saw the casting call for that. I want a foolproof method. So the joints don't chip. I want my dolls to be like they were made in a factory. I love that craftsmanship idea because that's how I, that's what I'd be teaching you guys. I want your dolls to look 
oof, like, mm, just like that. I want you guys to also just like that. Um, there is a way, and we'll, you know what? I might, if I can find some clips, let me go ahead and see if I can find it now. Um, let me go ahead and look. So I could still read the comments. So let me go ahead and see if I have some of that footage because I have about, I have a, I have a lot of stuff, even though I haven't been uploading as much as I used to when I first started. Um, and we're fixing that this year. I have films all the time, all the time. I have so many videos. Look, I'm, look, I'm in the wrong thing. I need to be in, I need to be in this one. I have so many videos. I really do. And I just got to go back and look and see. Okay, I can't find it. There's too many. There's, there's probably like over 800 videos clips to look through. And I'm organized in my life, but my computer said <laughs> organized. What is that girl? My computer. No. He was the first person I watched that changed the face shape with your Jackson, your Jackson Jekyll doll. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Um, red dye does prevent chipping around joints from what I've seen, but yeah, different plastics takes color differently. Yeah. Um, it does. So in the factories, they use different types of plastic and you, you ever notice why you'll look at a doll and the joints are different, like a slightly different color from the plastic is because they were the color pigment that the, okay. So they weren't casted at the same time. Does that make sense? So the color palettes that they use is like, um, so, like there's not a, I don't think they have a chemist on staff to be like, okay, well, this is the formula to get the, the, get the color perfectly. I use like eight pellets or something like that. There's no one on staff to do that. That kind of, like um, that kind of quality control costs money and it depends on what factory that you picked that you pick and how much your budget is. Cause sometimes you just be like, okay, well, I guess they're just gonna have a uh, lighter, lighter color knees and then we're just gonna deal with it, you know? But that's that's why. And again, that's another reason why I'm just like, yeah, personally for me, if it's that important to you, I would I would cut that hoe up. That sounds so terrible. I would cut that doll up and um, go ahead and do right down the seam in the very back if you haven't removed the seams yet and cut it down the middle and add new joints. Like I know it sounds so tedious, but if that's that's how you can guarantee getting consistent, you know. Um, let's see. Did you see the new collector Monster High dolls it and the Ghost Twins and take their knees? Yes, night Kelly, take their knees. But um yeah, I did. And can I be honest with you guys? I'm not really impressed. We've seen some really, really good Monster High dolls over the years, especially collector dolls. And I didn't even lift a finger for this. For this, I just feel like um, I appreciate you guys brought us the original bodies. But to me, it feels like y'all just threw together something real quick. That's, that's how it really felt to me. And plus... Um, as somebody who like, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I love horror in a, in a, you know what I mean? I love horror in a, a little bit. I love Japanese horror cause it's actually scary, but I can only watch it a little bit cause I don't like scary that much. Like I like scary, but not that scary. Y'all, the Japanese scary is a little on a, a whole new level of scary. So, um, I, I don't want a clown doll and I don't want twins of the shining of movie that I, to be completely honest, I've never seen, I've only seen pop culture references to that movie. Um, Bobby's world. I'm, I'm aging myself. Uh, Bobby's world. The very opening is that scene from the shining where the little kid is running a little thing. I didn't, I didn't know that until I got older. Okay. So um, no knees and elbows allowed. <laughs> That's funny. They sold out in 10 minutes. Yeah, I heard. But again, our community is starving. Um, our community is starving for dolls because they got rid of our line, y'all. They got rid of our line. That's actually a big reason why I not like I was moving into making my dolls from scratch anyway. But um, on my Etsy, if you guys don't know, I, I do sell the Seth Ptolemy doll and I had to put it on reserve recently. Um, not recently, but especially since they, they announced that they're discontinuing Monster High. Um, 
And Ever After High, I use Ever After High and Monster High to make that doll. So to get the materials to make that, the cost outweighs how much I was pricing it for. So I had to, I had to keep it on reserve if I wanted to keep the price. So it's at the point where it's casual. If I come across the, the materials, I'll make another one. But that doll might have to be retired unless I sculpt something from scratch, which I'm doing. I'm planning on doing that anyway. Okay, look, show bats. I don't care if people cuss. Come on. I am 29 years old. Everyone loves the Rainbow High dolls. I'm not a big fan. And you know why we're not a big fan? Oh, wait, I feel that uh, Fooft can't handle certain series. Scaries. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm like that, okay? Um, Mattel effed up rebooting Monster High. They did, and I think they killed it for a reason. I feel like uh, as a business person, somebody who wants to make money that didn't make that decision didn't make sense. Everyone loves the rainbow high dolls. I'm not a big fan. So, you know, I have to buy um, dolls to look at their bodies because for my own line. So I bought them. They're interesting. Um, but again, I always feel that the doll formula for it to work, no bigger than a monster high doll head, no smaller than, um, the 2001 Bratz that came out, like the, that 2000s Bratz, that head is a perfect size because it's close to the Monster High. I think if you're going to do exaggerated heads, that's where you need to stay. That's just stay right here. Any bigger and you look like Powerpuff Girls in a bad way or pull-ups. But what I will give MGA that I commend them because every line, no matter how they cheap out somewhere, they never cheap out on the clothes. And I am a doll clothing junkie. Uh, I love doll clothes. Like, yes, I sew them myself, but sometimes their stuff looks like it came out of Etsy. And that is a, that's praise of the highest, highest, you know, won't they eventually run out of colors? <laughs> Ironically, no. Uh, you can do pastel rainbow and you can do um, like a, a neutralized, all neutral color rainbows. You you can do a lot of stuff. You, there's so many colors. You don't have to do just rainbow. But I do think I'm tired of doll gimmicks. The gimmick should always just be fashion. Like that that's your gimmick. Like it should be fashion, period. It should be either regular fashion or high fashion. You should always be concerned with the clothes. Like, yeah, the doll looks great, but you should be concerned with the clothes. Like, I don't, I don't get it. I found a customizer that uses Bratz heads and Monster High bodies. They're amazing. You got to show me that. That's not like something I want to see. Um, sometimes also, oh, hello, Diego. Sometimes also the Barbie collector clothes are not so good and they cost a lot. That's just disrespectful to my spirit to be completely honest, to hear that. Cause I know, and that's why I don't subscribe. <laughs> I don't buy them. Um, uh, again, cause I, when I, I, I'm trying, I don't, I don't, my collection right now is literally only 12 dolls. Uh, and those were the, some original monster high dolls that I got, got off Cra Craigslist, not monster high original Brad dolls that I got off Craigslist. And I just, I couldn't open them for nostalgia purposes. I just couldn't, I still can't maybe like one Barbie, but, um, yeah, the the clothes. So I, you know, to me, like, yeah, the doll is great or whatever, but I've seen, yeah, like, especially Mattel, y'all are known for just giving us the same doll sculpts over and over and over. So I can get this doll sculpt somewhere else for less money and then just put new clothes on her and give her a new body. I don't want to have to do all that. I just, it'd be great to just go and find a doll you like who's the clothes, the face, like giving us face and clothes. Come on, man. You can't skip out on clothes. That's the main point of a fashion doll. Yeah, but seems like um, the, the rainbow dolls will get repetitive. That's why I liked Monster High. Every doll was unique. That That is very true. It probably will get repetitive. I feel like they'll, they'll make it because um, fashion-wise, Seeing the pieces, I'm like, they they will mix well with each other. But I think that I that's another, that's another, it's another line that MGA will come out where I'm just like, just give me fashion packs. I don't want the doll. Like the doll is very well done. Um, there are some quality issues, as usual, but the doll, like that's the be most beautiful uh 
glass eyed doll with like, she had like the, the highlighter and stuff. That's the most beautiful glass eye doll I've ever seen coming from the US market. And I have to say that because overseas they do better. Like a pull up, a pull up is they do better. Right? Like, but that's the best we've ever seen in the US market. Um, let's see. I went to a couple convention here in Italy and they gave uh they give collector dolls a, a souvenir doll. Ooh, that's actually pretty nice. I wish I wanted to go to a convention. That'd be really cool. I want to go to Italy in general. Dale, you where you out? You where is that right now? Um, they always have cheap clothes. And see, I, I don't like cheap clothes though. See, I can't. I can't. Like if I wanted to go to the dollar store, I would have gone to the dollar store. I would have just gone to the dollar store. Okay, we would have just gone there. Okay, I would have just been a dollar and got them dollar clothes and put it on the doll. Podcast. I don't know. It's an ASMR. Okay, let me stop. Even I was uncomfortable with that. <laughs> I play too much. Mm. Oh my God, we've been here for an hour and 20 minutes. That got me talking. Oh my God. But I really, I, when I say I have to, to um, so for the Dollmaker's Diary, a lot of, a lot, one of the questions that I got was like, um, where did you start to designing your own? And I said, I just looked at what, what we've been given uh, I'm coming at this as a doll lover, as a doll, uh, well, former doll collector. I don't really collect dolls like that no more, but, um, and a doll customizer and somebody who just in genuinely enjoys, enjoys dolls. You know what I mean? And I looked at it from what I want to see. And then I asked people, y'all, we all, we're very loud about what we like and don't like. You know what I mean? You know, the guy that did original Monster High dolls um, got fired because he wasn't on board with the reboot. And of course, why would like the reboot was trash and he was right. But also um, I think Garrett Sanders, Garrett Sanders did a really great job. They brought in, they brought in unique faces, like the face molds, all the face molds were different. So ever after high in that aspect, it didn't make sense that only like maybe three or four out of those girls uh, had different face molds. It didn't make any sense. I, I, we, you can't give us different face molds and have a crossover kind of thing. And it's, eh. I, I still, I still, I just don't like the round faces. They too round and too big. And then when they made it small, they, they ruined it still by giving us those horrible archaic smiles. All right. Okay. You guys go kind of fast. Okay. Okay. Night Cali gasp. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. I make doll clothes and invest so much into in materials like special teeny Velcro. Me too. And Mattel uses the cheap Velcro for Barbie. <laughs> Can you, wait, hold on. Who's that out there? <laughs> That's my brother-in-law. Velcro for Barbie collectors line. Yeah. The, the, the really big and bulky ones. I know exactly what you're talking about. That's him. I believe how he works for, he works now for Moose. What is Moose? I, I don't know. I, I saw what they came out with, those little, those little miniature things. Those are the best articulated bodies for that scale. I would give it, I've never seen an articulated body for that scale. Um, at least not in the United States. Speaking of doll line, how do you feel? This is from DAC, um, DAC589. That's my homie. Um, how do you feel about the new extra dolls? Also, I agree. MGA delivered. It's all time. Them clothes is a piece of heaven. It is. And the bodies fit Barbie. So the Barbie extra line. I'm on the fence. One, I like it. You're serving us looks. But two, they still did something I really hate, um, which is plastic accessories. Like, yeah, shoes can be made out of plastic. But um, the plastic purse and the plastic little figurine, make that separate. I don't want that garbage. It's plastic garbage. It's gonna go in the trash, or you're gonna lose it. it it's garbage. I don't want it. Give me a per, uh, give me a fabric purse. Um, and I see them trying, and I appreciate them trying, but it's only because I don't know. I like, dude, y'all want money, and we're willing to spend the money on quality. Uh, LOL, fashion dolls, and the. Um, rainbow high set the standard like we're willing to pay thirty dollars okay but just give us the quality right and i saw that they were trying and i like some of the pieces some of it some of the pieces were lined 
They're beautiful. Ooh, and that new that new Afro hair texture looks like my 4C hair, and I, I, I'm in love. But I don't trust Mattel, you know what I mean? I'm like, is this going to be five? Are we going to get like three dolls of this? And then you guys are going to make them cheap all, all of a sudden? You, I just, I have trust issues with y'all, you know what I mean? Um, so what is extra about the Barbie extra doll? <laughs> Hold on. Now you have no idea how much shade that was. <laughs> what is extra about the Barbie extra doll? I think they are just some BMR um, 1959 that didn't fit in the original wave. So let me talk about BMR. First off, that was 90s fashions that nobody asked for. If you're going to give me 90s fashion... Um, give me Aaliyah, give me, um, some, some TLC, which I don't know if that's nineties per se. I'm trying to think of nineties hip I'm trying to go back in time and think about what I was listening to because I was listening to the Backstreet Boys. Okay. Give me, give me real good nineties fashion. Don't give me fashion that was questionable, but I do love the male bodies, which, uh, those sell to the same price to this day. Like you can get them on sale, but people use those to rebody their dolls. I love that. Um, but these are things that we should have already had. We, we knew you guys already had this different bodies. It should already be available to your customers to buy. It doesn't make sense to hold back and make these budget dolls. Like stop. And I feel like y'all are polluting. I, I will say this over and over. There is fast fashion, but there's also fast dolls. And you guys are just making garbage that no one cares about. And it ends up in these thrift stores. And we end up rescuing them for like a dollar, um, maybe two dollars in the thrift stores. And we're we're cleaning, we're, we're cleaning their hair and removing all that stuff. And yeah, that's good for us. But I wish you would think about quality and not quantity. There's like even Rainbow High is coming out with way too many dolls way too fast and they're expensive. Ain't nobody is going to just buy one. <laughs> if you do, you have a lot of control when it comes to dolls because even I bought just one and that is very hard to do because I was like, but look at this and that. And thank God for eBay sellers because they will just take the clothes and usually I just want the clothes and they will sell it separately. What? Okay, so Mattel could had invest in Monster High and Ever After High dolls. Instead, they did Cave Club dolls, Wild Heart dolls. I, I just don't get it. I don't get it either. Um, Monster High was doing pretty good, even though the quality was like, eh, y'all were giving us new face molds and different, some good quality hair, and we were just enjoying the line in general. I agree. And the Cave Club dolls did bring in some very unique molds, some face molds. I saw them and they're just pretty cute, but I refused to buy them. I think the whole, they were trying to find the next gimmick and that's what it seems like. And you ever look at a gimmick and you just be like, that is so stupid. You know what I mean? Like you feel a little bit insulted. Like who is this for? What kid said, you know what? I want to play with a little caveman. What? Yabba dabba do? Yabba, 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 dabba, don't. Let's not. Let's not. Yes, I only like the bodies. Oh, wait, hold up. Diego, let's just remember the Mattel created flavors. They did. And that was, the, the fashion was updated, but it was kind of cringe. It was like, hello, fellow doll. It was like, hello, fellow children. Uh, you know, that's like the, the old man trying to fit in with the, you know, let's date this doll line, you know. Yes, I only like the bodies, but the fashion, girl. What 90s? Where is the 90s? I ain't close to urban fashion back. Like, uh, that ain't close to urban fashion back in the 90s. Yeah, it wasn't. I was like, where are the oversized? Well, there were some oversized shirts, but I was like, where is the camo? Where is the colored camo? Where is the blue camo? Like, yeah, we had some bucket hats, but, you know, they we didn't, we weren't that crazy. We weren't wearing like, primary colors like what i don't know the the question wasn't even high fashion the fashion wasn't high fashion it was questionable fashion where i'm like no who's this for i don't know it ain't for me who's it for maybe i'm just stuck on monster high i don't i don't blame you um monster high brought us the fantasy that we really wanted and was craving and i'm still craving i'm swabbed i'm swabbed i'm hungry baby i want i want fantasy I want a lot of it. I want creatures. I want gargoyles. I want all of that. 
I, I, that's that's the kind of person I am too. I love fantasy. How do you do? Yes, Night Callie had it. How do you do, fellow kids? Exactly that meme. Oh my god, I wish I could cut to that meme right now. That'd be great. That would be great. Oh my god, I need a coaster. Yeah. This is melted so much that it doesn't even taste good anymore. But I'm thirsty. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, like um I I totally agree with that. Um oh, just I know times are hard for a lot of people, but I know it's not hard for these big companies. It really isn't. They make cuts and all that kind of stuff. I'm like, yeah, I'm running my own business too. So I completely understand where they're coming from in materials and cut costs. But I feel like they cut costs at the, at the wrong place. You know what I mean? They make some mistakes and maybe they'll come out again. Cause when they came out with those collector dolls, to me, it was like a slap in the face to, um, a monster high lover such as myself. And when I think about it, like it, it took me a while to get on board with monster high my first Monster High doll I ever purchased, um, like an official one, not a not a fake one, was um, the Howleen lunchroom doll. I loved that little girl. I loved Howleen. I love her little face, and she was so cute. And then then, um, then I was like, oh, there's you know, I was just like, oh, there's black ones. That's that's what, that was my reaction, I guess. And um, yeah. Heather Nichols says, I like how they made the bandages on Cleo's new body because it made her monster-like. I like the old Cleo. I liked, I wish the old Cleo had the bandages. I'm kind of like on the fence about that. I like their body proportions. I did not like the bandages. I like to be able to remove the bandages. But what I would have liked to seen is more texture on her. So she got the bandage look, like more texture. Like they did a printed fabric. I'm like, well... Why not not let's skip the printed fabric and why not do something with actual uh, mummy wraps and more texture? You know what I mean? I think it'd be a lot better and you would have gotten that mummy feel from her. But the molded part, I was just like, I hate molded on anything. Um, one for customizing, but two, uh, two, it just it limit it limited you a little bit. And I don't know. I just I didn't care for that. I thought it was kind of like um, like the molded fur on, which I felt like that was disrespectful to my spirit for Claudine with the molded fur. Just, which, whoa, whoa, no, no. Some people liked it, but me, I'm like, no, don't give me any molded details when what exists? Actual fur and actual mummy wraps, you know? Molded, uh, let me see, Callie, molded fur. Yes, they had molded fur on Claudine. I don't like the fur, the fur on Claudine. So yeah, same. Yes, Callie, they put molded on fur. And I was just like, that's the stupidest idea ever. Who came up with this? And no, no, <laughs> just no, it, it was not cute. I was just like, like, I, 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 I will say I like to be positive, but personally I did not, I didn't care for that. I did not. Um, try again, please come go back to the drawing board, which they didn't do that. They just, they, they just cut it. Bonks, bonks them to doll jail. Yes. To jail. They are going to jail. Okay. They are going to jail. That is, geez. I just like, I hate molded on details. Just like I, unless it makes sense, but I hate molded on details. Just like molded hair. Ugh, 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 ugh. Figure it out. I, I don't want that. Now, I do know that it's them being for, you know, you have to get things FDA approved. If you look at the the ages for Monster High, what was the ages for Monster High? Can we just go ahead and look what Monster High ages? Like who, what was the age? That was not what I was trying to look for. Uh, who is it for? Unless you guys know, hurry up. <laughs> Let me stop. Monster High um, for what age group? There we go. For what age group? That's what I was looking for. So this is actually, yeah, when it first came out, they're saying five to seven-year-olds. Seven um, 
and this is in this was this article was written in 2012. Someone said Diego says six plus and Red Dragon um Smong Smong Red Dragon Smong 13 plus. Let me know if I cor uh, correct me if I'm wrong if I pronounced that wrong. Um, which I probably I know I did. Um yeah, they're saying they're saying eight to eleven. Walmart suggests eight to eleven, Target said five to seven, and um Kmart said it was for four years old. That was the starting. And I'm like, uh, okay. So, um, yeah. And I said, I don't remember any four or five year olds playing with these monster dolls, but you know, I think, I think when we come out with stuff like this and this is, this is what I feel like the designers of our dolls are people like us, the people who design it. They're people who are adults and love dolls. They're like us. And it would be really great if these companies just cater to us. But again, that's going to be my job. I'm just going to cater to the adults. Like, um, And that's, they actually have a lot of um, regulation to kids' toys. Like if you guys remember, you don't remember because nobody was around at the time. But uh, during the Victorian era, a lot of kids were dying. This is going to be sounding a little sad, but a lot of kids were dying because they were putting lead paint inside dolls, like not like, like dolls and um, all kinds of kids toys and kids would put them in their mouths and get lead poisoning. And so we've regulated kids toys, like not just choking hazards. So to, to make a toy for a kid, you have to go through basically these checks and balances. Like, I think it's the FDA. You have to get that FDA approved, like it's food or something like that. And uh, choking hazard warnings and all kinds of stuff. So a lot of stuff is blocking the designers from that. And it's like, man, if only you could just raise the age because, you know, but also is anyone kind of tired of the high school? And I think that's just because I'm older, but I'm just like, for someone who just graduated college, I'm just like, College was more fun. When are we going to get some university dolls? Like we used to get something like that, I believe. Um, my the my generation dolls. I feel like they were they were like uh, in college or something. And I'm just like, why don't you just age them up a little bit if you're going to do all this stuff? You know what I mean? Um, change your demographic to actual teens. Why not? I mean, yeah, kids can be in there, but it'll be a lot easier. You don't have to go through so much regulation. See, Heather Nicole says, I know the, re re the reboot was for younger girls. It was. And I'm like, they didn't even want that. So I don't even know why what they were thinking. And Red, Red Dragon Smung says, um, now I'm going to say something super duper bo boogie or bougie. You mean bougie? I'm going to say something super duper bougie here. But I'm going to just suggest getting a 3d printer and print out all your dolls i did it and it's the best decision i ever made so i have a 3d printer and um i've never opened it <laughs> i bought it paid for it i have the robo um i got it i got it refurbished from their company the robo something and um what is it on my face um i I basically I have to take a class. I have to take a class. Um, I I got I got I got um my friend Shannon to help me, but and I got some friends from school that I went. But I I'm a hand sculptor, boo boo. I really am. Um, <laughs> I hand sculpt. I hand I'm hand sculpting my prototype right now, and maybe taking me longer. But I just there's so many questions I had that couldn't get answer answered right then and there while I was sculpting because I can do it, but. I'm a traditional girl, boo boo. We traditional over here because I was struggling. I was struggling. Actually, Red Dragon Smung, are you part of the the Discord, the the doll making Discord? I wonder. I feel like I feel like you might be, especially if you you printed out your dolls. Everybody seems to be doing that on there, and that is dope, by the way. Um, Heather Nicole, they could they could have did. Oh, excuse me. They could have did a line with Nephra and her friends, like college series with big sister bodies. I would have loved seeing that. Oh my God. Especially if you're going to be serving me some looks. Dude, open it. Best thing ever. I need, I need to, you know what? I need to, I need to contact somebody who I need, I need help while being walking through that. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I have so many questions. Um, 
I have so many questions I need answered and I need to go and um, when it comes to 3D printing, I, I need a lot of questions answered. I'm going to hit up my friend for that though. Call him up on that Discord. Let's see, college dudes would be so nice. Reading and watching and seeing high school characters is getting tiring. NG, NGL, what does that mean, by the way? I, NGL, let me know. But also, I agree. I want college. I want I want college dolls. And, um, oh, you said college. Did I say college dudes? Where's mama at that, boo-boo? Okay, stop. Okay, no Discord. Nope, no Discord here. Um, wait, wait. Let me get the Reddit link where I uploaded it. It is a bit um, NSFW though. Okay, well, so, okay, hold up. Let me let me go ahead and can I? If I click this, will it take me off? Okay, okay. I can't I can't click it now. Um, I'm gonna check the comments later. Okay, so um, uh, Poppin. I can't spell her name. She just used hers. <gasps> I think I know what you're talking about. She's hilarious. I think I've, I've commented on her videos a couple of times. Um, yeah, I can't, I'm going to say in um, good faith, I cannot pronounce that word. Uh, I don't want to mess it up on live. I'm terrible at pronouncing things if I don't, especially French. I don't really know. I like, I know, I know the word, but I can't remember. I'm getting old. That's what that is. <laughs> Midnight fumes time. Oh, okay. Big valid. Thank you. Cause I'm like, I know she just used her 3D printer. So I'm like, hey, you know what? Maybe I maybe I should. I, there's just so many questions that I need answered for 3D modeling. And that's the issue. <laughs> and I have a place where I can go answer, but I feel like I'm always bothering people when I ask stupid questions. Or I feel like my questions are stupid. I, I have to ask stupid questions. And I also need someone to show me. And that's why going to school was really good for me because I needed to ask so many questions. She printed a doll headband and it turned out great. Ooh, okay. I need to go look. She has a lot of videos. I just saw her snow globe video and um, it came out very, very pretty. I really liked it. Um, um, I like the light. Something about, what is it about humans and glowy things? Like, like, ooh, it's shiny. They're always talking about crows, but maybe we're the crows, you know? Oh, mood. Yeah, a whole mood. I need a straw. All I'm getting is ice. But um, let's see. Yes, that's the video she used the printer in. Oh, it's, wait, wait, what? Wait, wait, what is the... What? Oh, it is? Are you serious? How did I skip that? Sometimes I watch things on fast and I'm always doing something. When I'm watching doll videos, I'm usually taking notes. Um, like I'm usually doing something, you know what I mean? Like I'm, um, I'm either drawing or I think I was editing. Like I, I will watch it on my phone. I'm just listening and I'm editing or I'm doing something because I... I will, what's the word? Sometimes I'll fall asleep. So I, in order to keep my brain active, sometimes I just can't sit down and watch things. So I have to do other things while I'm watching things, which sounds so stupid, but multitask. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Feel free to hit me up with any questions too. I'll try to answer the best I can. Are you sure Red Dragon Schmung? Because uh, when I ask questions, I will ask you questions. Shayana knows, okay? Shayana knows. Um, I will ask questions. <laughs> um, Night Corvid Brain, or why did I say that? Night Callie said Corvid Brain. Okay, shiny thing, mine now. That's exactly how I feel. The, the snow globe video, yes. I had to go back and watch it twice. I do the same thing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go. <gasps> Lauren! Hey, sugar, I'm late. How are you? I'm doing fine. How are you? Look, guys, some of my OGs are here. Sure, please go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna hold you to that schmung, schmoney, some schmoney, schmoney. Miss, uh, Mr. or Miss Red Dragon or non binary. So they, I don't know. Finally, somebody I can geek geek about with. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm also gonna send you, um, um, go follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna follow you back and then, um, um, 
I'm gonna send you an invite to the doll the doll makers uh Discord. Um because I think you'll really enjoy that. Because if you want to geek out about stuff, you there's a whole bunch of us geeking out over doll making over there. And there's some very there's some doll makers in there that have like you know who they are. You know what I mean? You know their work when you see them. We often share our work on there, and it's a good it's a good place to geek out. I haven't had anything to share recently. Let me see. My Instagram is let me show. Okay. Do 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 do. Let's go. I'm gonna go follow you now. B R O Bron. What? How do y'all say these names? Bron Neck. Neck. Wait, 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 wait. That's not you. Hold up. That's somebody else. B R O N W N E E C H. Okay, I'm not seeing you. I'm not seeing you on here. Um, B R O N W N. Oh, E C. Look, E C G. Okay, there we go. Oh, you already follow me. There we go. I'm gonna follow back. I'm gonna follow back, and then I'm gonna send you the little thing to the Discord. Um, the Lord and Lord and you. Thank you, Lord and. All right. Yeah, okay. Oh, and by the way, you look so cute. You look so cute. You look so cute, Red Dragon. You look so cute. Oh, it's so adorable. Oh, everybody who everybody who's in the stream is adorable. Y'all y'all are so cute. I want you all to remember that. Okay, so I'm gonna send you go ahead and send you a message and send you the invite before I forget, because I will forget. Um somebody said, like, you're all over the place to me once. And I said, Yeah, I have too many, I wear too many hats to remember things. Um, yeah, here we go. I'm gonna send you the invite code and, and go ahead and bop. I already went ahead and sent that to you. Let's see, I got you, yeah. Lord and got me. I Oh God, <laughs> hello John Brooks, let's see. And Schmung said, also, that's my Twitter name too. Oh, look, hold up, hold up. That's your Twitter name? I got, I have, let me sound old for a minute. I have Twitter. <laughs> I sound old as hell. Uh, I, I still don't understand Twitter. I don't know why I have it. Like, I have it for you guys, but like, um, um, it don't, like, I don't know. I, I post, but I don't know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? I Let me see if I can find you. Okay, we're going to, I'm going to type it again. B-R-O-N. Um. W Y N, um, and then E C G. All right, there you go. And followed. There you go. All right, so um, John said hi. What's up, John? Mr. Brooks. Okay, so Cal Knight Kelly says. Oh wait, no, no, no. Lorden says multiple crowns. Sags are multiple crowns. Okay, hey. Sagnation, Sag Gang, yes. You guys know Hexian is a Sagittarius as well. I was, I was mad surprised, but not really. I was like, I was like, you're so extra. You have to be Sagittarius. <laughs> calling, calling our, calling our Sag energy out. Um, Lorden, I have a Twitter too, but I, I lo um, I'm lost on that mess too. Well, Lorden, let me know so I can follow you too. <gasps> Nefertiti Jones, Miss Jones, hello. Um, I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a 3D printer soon. That's what you, what you mean. I want to make shoes for my triad action figure. That sounds, mm. oh, something about when y'all make stuff, when people, I love, I support y'all. Y'all know what I mean? Ah, uh, oh, Heather, you're an Aries. I love me some Aries. We friends, we friends. Let's see, fellow side. Yes, Kelly. Let's see. Is he for real? Makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> he is. I remember I was um sitting in his live um not that long ago. Um, it was somewhere over the summer, and they were like, they were like, "Are you a sad?" He sh oh god, he shaded me. Uh, Cause I was like, "Hold up." He was like, "Are you an are you an introvert or extrovert?" Because like some of y'all, I was like, "Hold up, oh." I'm an omnivert in case everyone wanted to know. 
<laughs> Omni birds. I have. Yeah. Let's see. Let me stop. Let's see. Uh, hi from Oregon. What's up? Music Chowler. Music Chowler. Urgh. Let me stop. Hi. I heard Oregon is lit over there. I heard Oregon is lit. Sagnation. Yes. If anything, if Sagittarius, I feel like because our element is fire, we would totally be uh, firebenders. We would. We would. So when people say Sag Nation, I'm like, Fire Nation! Let's go! It's so horrible. Hexian's Jeffree Star doll was amazing. Oh, that is somebody. Hexian be serving some looks, the makeup looks. Um, Hexian makes me want to put more makeup on my dolls, um, which I'm going to do some more of, but I'm just like, ooh, the makeup. You know what I mean? You just, you just got to go, Mwah! you know what you mean? Look at them colors and oh, just mm, slay. Music howler girl, you killing me. <laughs> like, wait, wait, what? 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 I don't know things. I'm mainstream, but also not mainstream. Mm. Is it weird that the the kiwis, the seeds kind of taste a little bit like poison? Did y'all wash this before y'all put it in here? Let's hope they did. It tastes a little, little not for me. Um, he be serving on them dolls like, dang, so good. Yes. Oh my god. Like, like I just, I can't describe it. Like when y'all start talking about art, I get this way when people start talking about art supplies, like super pigmented oils or, 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 or shadows or eyeshadows or. Like, it gives me so much life. Oh, like, just, mm. Hexine has the eyes. The shape is perfect. I know. Oh, my God. Just the makeup. Oh, my God. Oh, the person from Oregon. Yeah. Um, Night Kelly says, uh, kiwi seeds shouldn't? No, they shouldn't. That's why I'm like, they taste a little bit like, um, a little, a little like I shouldn't eat them. That's what they taste like. I mean, I'm still going to drink this but it does taste a little sus. Yeah, the, the seeds don't taste very well. What pastels do you like? I have some pan pastels I like. Pan pastels, period. Um, there are there are some I've tried out just for my more budget-friendly um, people who are more on the hobby side of our, of our spectrum. And Schmendike is okay. Um, like, but you have to get the handmade, the hand, what is it called? You have to get hand, hand rolled, handmade um, pastels in order to get the same quality as a pan pastel. But I, pan pastel takes a lot of the work that, you know, it's already in a, a little kind of makeup form. That's why it's, it's called the, the painting pastels in the art community. I just tweeted you my Reddit link. Hold up, I don't do Reddit. I'll look. Let me. Oh, the link did you say? Okay, I'll look at the link because I'm like I I don't I don't do Reddit. I, I have I have too many social media everything. I'm I'm already like. Did you guys know I have a Twitch? Also, we should call out Twitter because they they're I'm seasonal frost buy on there, not seasonal frost bite. They couldn't give me them last two letters, <laughs> so I've 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 always been so disappointed about that. <laughs> like, okay, I saw the tweet. I'm going to go ahead and save it in my browser so I can look at it later. Um, no, I don't want to look it in the app because I'm not downloading another thing on my phone. What? Hold up. Actually, hold up. Let me. I don't want to take a call. Let me just text her. That was that was Mama Frostbite. Hey, Mom, I'm live on YouTube. Call you back later. My mom be like, no, she did not just hang up on me. I'm like, sorry, I did. I don't need a whooping. I'm too old. Okay, yeah, the hand rolled. Um, and I discovered I discovered that back in God, what what year was that? And I um I went ahead and sent Catherine um her set 
and um, the Mung that was the Mungyos. That's what the the Mungyos was the first one because I tested Unison, which they were known for making the handmade pastels in the beginning. But the it wasn't. I tried it on my dolls. It was yeah, was all right. Mungyos had a little bit more pigment for my taste for dolls. Mama Frostbite, <laughs> yes, that's her face right now. Like I can see it. Why do parents have the worst timing? I mean, when it comes to my mama. She can never have the worst timing. And that that's my mama. Like, <laughs> but I think she texts. No, she didn't text back. Oh, I hope it's not important. Um, I don't want to, you know what? Here. I'm just, I'm, I, I just feel so bad. Let me just. Hello? Hey, did you need something? No, I was just uh, calling you back from yesterday. Oh, okay. I'll I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. All right, bye. She ain't one none. And yes, I do call my mom like every every single day. I call her a lot because I love my mama. Uh, <laughs> I love my mom, and we're we're very close. Um, I'm close with I'm close with a lot of my family members, but I would say my mom is just like she's my everything, basically. That and my dad. My, they're, they're so cute together. Wow, she kind of sounds like one of my aunts. I'm a, I wonder, are we related? Are we related? Because uh, apparently there's a lot of, on her side of the family, there's a lot of cousins cousins, and all that kind of stuff. I wonder. I, I don't, I don't uh, put that past nobody. Let me see. Because I, I actually, I, I, I'm just now getting into my roots. Like, I, okay, so New Year's, I started my altar because I wanted to invite my ancestors back into my home. Um, I wouldn't say they were never welcome, but I would say I wasn't, I wasn't keeping up with my spiritual side. And so um, I'm doing that this year. I started my altar and um, I said, if they're my ancestors, they're not going to want a glass of water. They're going to want a glass of vodka. So I left a glass of vodka. And uh, I told my mom that she says, your grandmother would be very happy about that. <laughs> Grandmother Jean would love that. Well, okay, so long lost cousins, probably. Don't think so. Your people are your people from, I'm from Georgia and MD, you mean Maryland or Virginia. I'd have to ask my mom. From what I know, some family members, like uh, some family members were in Canada we lost touch with after slavery. Like, yeah, I love that we have stories that far back um, in my family. And then um, then it's also, um, that's my mom's side, but there's also my dad's side. So I, I I feel like I know something about his side, but I feel like I don't know as much as my mom, um, as much as my mom. Um, I know they were in Tennessee. I also found out that my great, 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 great grandfather was a survivor of the Tulsa massacre. So I know that. Um, God, there's, there's so much about a history, like Lovecraft country. Have y'all seen that yet? Um, well, it's so old. Of course, everyone's probably seen that, but that a lot of that stuff, a lot of the, the history and the lost relatives and all that stuff was very, very true. Um, which is very, very interesting. So Virginia, maybe, maybe I have to ask my dad. I really do. Um, my mom's maiden name is Taylor. And then her mom's maiden name, or is it her mom's or my grandfather's? Um, it had to be my, yeah, it had to be my mom's, the McFerrins. And Ruth McFerrin, like that, I just, I I, I learned like uh, that my mom's cousin is Bobby McFerrin. And I didn't even know who that was. I'm so sorry. I saw, I actually listened to the music. So the McFerrins is the musical, that was the musical side of the family. They were all great all great singers. And she always told me that because in my immediate family, um, I'm the only one who can actually like sing. So like not tooting my horn or anything like, or oh, I'm a toot it. I'm a toot it. But <laughs> I'm not going to be ashamed about, you know, lifting myself up a little bit. But that was just something I was very proud of to hear that like, you know, just to hear my roots, like, you know, I feel like we didn't know anything. And now we know so much. It's very interesting just to be able to talk to my mom and ask questions, story from her aunt, you know, her great aunt. So that'd be my great, great aunt. 
this year, I really want to step up and take DNA tests and see if that whole, see if that whole every black family got an Indian in the history is true for us or not. For, according to my sister, yes, I have not done a DNA test um, per se, but I know on both sides of my family, we actually have photos of our ancestors, which that's very rare. We have actual, like the old black and white photos of the ones that have um, the Native American um, in our families, which is, I don't know about on my dad's side, but I know on my mom's side, because we had, yeah, she, has, she used to have some really thick glasses, I'll tell you that. So us all being blind, it is a gen it is genetic. Woo, it is genetic. I. I come, I come to you. Hey, I come to you with no, you know, uh, glasses on, but I wear glasses, like glasses, thick glasses. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I got the, the, thank God for the thin lens, but Jesus, all right, whew, thick. All right, guys. Um, that must be my cue. My husband, like, hey, you've been here for two hours. Two hours. Yo, my grandmother took DNA. My grandmother took DNA, and she has always been told she's Native American and Irish. DNA said Irish and African American. We we was all surprised. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry not to laugh. <laughs> And we were all surprised. Like, hey, girl, you they were looking at you like, oh, okay. All right. Grandma, she was like, oh, they were hella surprised. That doesn't, that doesn't surprise me that much. Um, I actually have family from Germany, apparently. <laughs> we, we was laughing too, okay. <laughs> I got Irish too. Apparently not by choice either. Uh, I, um, want to say probably same here. We just kind of don't, we don't talk about it. In fact, on my mom's side of the family, like when, when, it, when somebody comes out light skin, we call that the curse because it meant that, um, well, it meant that when we say not by choice, like, um, being, you know, a lot, a lot of that in our gene pool is from survival of rape we are adults here. We can say that. And if they are going to demonetize me for that word, well, I am so sorry, like about it. Like it is a true thing. And it happened. Um, a lot of people, a lot of enslaved people were survivors of a lot of monstrosities. And if it wasn't for their survival, we would not be here. They were the strongest people ever, ever. We could not begin to comprehend like, you know what I mean? We, we do, we, we, we feel it, but it's just, we didn't have to live it. You know what I'm saying? And my grandmother's and my grandmother's dad was kind of racist. I hate to say that I live in the Hills of Tennessee and that doesn't surprise me, but, um, it, it happens. Like the fact that you can say that was true, um, says a lot more about your growth as a family and, and your growth as well. Because um, I noticed that this day and age, people are so offended about being called racist while also doing racist things. Do you know what I mean? Like, and it's like you should be more ashamed of your behavior than just being called a racist. You like you you want no consequences to your actions, and you're lucky that your consequences was just being called a racist. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, it's crazy. It is so crazy. Hold on, let me. My skin is looking a little. This lighting, you know, let me warm it up a little bit and let me soften it. I got my lights on, y'all. I got my lights. Let me soften it a little bit. Oh, night lighting. <laughs> the funny thing is that my grandmother's mother could have easily passed for white. And the horrible things about black people my grandmother heard when she was young. So the, the grandmother's mother could have, yeah, 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 that one drop rule. And then if they're from Tennessee, that's that's country, 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 very country. Welcome to the South. Um, yes, my grandmother says the DNA is wrong, but it's not. I feel you. I feel you. Like there's a there's a there's a poem 
about, like we read it in school and it was about a, a man and a woman and the woman had a baby. The woman came out black. And so he disowned her and got like cast her to the street. And I think she committed to, she, she took her own life. And um, she wrote him a letter saying that she couldn't tell him she's so sorry that he's black. So that's what happened. And she still married him anyway and loved him anyway. And yeah, that was the whole poem. I, I wonder if I, if y'all can remember the poem, it wasn't even a poem. Was it a poem or just a short story? Could have been both. I don't know. Let's see. Show. Stop holding things for review. Come on. Let's see. Da, 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 da. From other people, my grandmother's mother came in contact with Okay. Okay. So, so, hey, Sophia's back. I'm here again. Hello. Um, Red Dragon Smug. My grandmother's mother was cool with being black, I think, but other folks were being asshats. Oh, is, I wonder why do they do that? Like, you guys, like, why do they, they held that for review for saying asshats? Really? Really? Like, um, you know, we will, I will always, like, uh, never censor anybody for, um, language that I use myself. You know what I mean? I think my grandmother's mom was Irish, of course, and her dad was African American, but she said, but he said he's Native American. Maybe back then it was odd to see black and white couples. Uh, it was illegal to see black and white couples. Um, so you are very, very correct. They probably just like, hey, I can pass for Native American, but even that was uh, side, people were side eyeing, eyeing you for that. Um, our history. And I would say I didn't learn the, the real history. Like I, I would say I had some very progressive teachers in public school back in the day in um, high school and middle school. But the real, real history I was taught when I went to um, Georgia Highlands. That was when I took my Georgia they have a special uh, American history class for Georgia. And my Mrs. Brown, Professor Brown, um, too, is a white lady. And she was really, she told us all the history. She had the proof. And she even brought in historians. Like, she did the most to make sure we knew our history. And it, I will thank, I thank her to, the, to this very day for that. Okay, let's see. Um. Da, 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 da. Okay, so Twitch is worse with censorship. I've seen the word she censored. That's ridiculous. And I I want to go, I want to do some gaming on Twitch, but the only games I play are games that are fun. I don't, I'm not, like if you're one of those people who play like um, games for a challenge, that is not me. I play games to relax. And if I'm getting my ass beat in the game, I don't want to play. <laughs> If I'm, if I'm losing so bad, I don't want to play. I'm not having fun. This is stressful. <laughs> let's see. Um, let's see. My grandmother is dark skin and dark hair, but had brothers and sisters with red hair and pale. It's so weird. No, it's not. Um, I actually have a cousin with red hair, um, Clarissa. She has red hair. And, you know, Malcolm X actually had red hair. People don't, people don't remember that or people who they take everything in black and white for like back in the day, but it's like we had access, they had access to colors, but he had, he had red hair. Malcolm has had, had red hair. You know, I think, I think we are so used to a stereotype, but that's why this year. Um, and I remember thinking this as a kid, like I, I, I listen to hip hop now, but as a kid, I didn't listen to hip hop cause it was too grown. And there was a, uh, there was a pressure to be a stereotype of black people. And they're like, black people don't do this. Black people don't do this. And I'm like, black people, we exist in lots of spectrums. You know what I mean? We're allowed to be who we are. And it's still black if we are who we are. Or we can present blackness in different ways. Um, let's see. Because you could tell I was a nerd, basically. Like, not, not nerd per se, but my likes made me nerdy. Like, the fact that you're an art student and all that stuff, that was already, you're already a nerd. Um, my, okay, I read that. Wait, yeah, I read that. Okay, so um, Schmung says, but this whole race thing is so funny to me. My great-grandfather was from Cape Verdad. <laughs> I just want to say it like that. Uh, and they all say they're white. 
As soon as he came here, he became a Negro because apparently all Africans are Negro. <laughs> That's what they, that they used to lump us all like that. You know, they, they did. They really did. It's all of a sudden you're a Negro. You know what I mean? And nothing wrong with that. I, whatever. I love hip hop, always have, and everyone around me is listening to country music. See, I was listening to like the Backstreet Boys and Britney Spears, and you can tell I grew up with with white kids <laughs> at the white school. You can tell. Um, but when it came to when I was the, I was the I was the black kid getting bullied by black kids. So uh, yeah, that and I I don't know. I think. I was too grown in a sense where I would listen to something. What are you talking about? Bumping, bumping uglies. We ain't doing that. I was like an old woman or something. Cause I just said, that does not sound like something. My, my little kid self, you know, what I did listen to a lot was, uh, Mary, Mary, Kurt Franklin, the, the, <laughs> that gospel stuff. Cause you know, you couldn't get away from listening to gospel music. In fact, my first concert was at a gospel concert. I think I saw Mary Mary in person. But as I got older, I got to listen to more hip hop that uh, were hip hop. Like, uh, yeah, we listen to some old school hip hop, but um, now some, the hip hop just to me got better. It got better. There was more voices. There's more women. There's more, there's just more everything. There's more access to the internet and there's, you can find these people and support these people. Like I love me some no name. She a little weird, but that's why I like her. <laughs> I love me some no name. And I wouldn't say she's um, not uh, something I would listen to previously, but I, or, or that she's not that famous, but I'm saying like, I, I appreciate her kind of classic flow. And um, if it wasn't for Spotify recommending to me, I would not even know who that, who no name was. Um, I, let's see. Uh, haha, same here. Britney Spears and Backstreet Boys was my jam. Yes, it was my jam. And I felt like that was the music I should be listening to because all this, all the, the music um, that was mainstream for hip hop was not made for me. If I didn't watch, if I couldn't hear it, if I couldn't hear it at my mama's functions at, you know, you know, the little kids in the back while the mom, the parents were being adults. Um, I, you know, I was like, that's, that's grown people's music. I don't think I should be listening to that. And yet I was not a snitch. I sound like I was a snitch, but I was not. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many times I've been accused of sounding white, like English me, like, excuse me for knowing how to speak English. Me too. And I didn't get it. My mom, my mom was from, my mom was from um, California and like they, they, they uh, picked on her for that too. And it was like, no, I'm just speaking the way you're supposed to speak English. Nothing wrong with, with um, dialect or whatever, but why are you making fun of me for speaking properly? That's not speaking white. That doesn't make sense. You just, I think those people just never been exposed to different forms of blackness. And it's like, you were one out of many of us we grew up and realized that we were all weird. You know what I mean? We were all the weird black, the weird black girl. You know what I mean? Um, I know this is an unpopular opinion, but I love Takeshi 69. I work out to his music. <laughs> Heather, we were rooting for you, Heather. We were rooting for you. I don't, I don't know. I think his, I think his, I just think his flow is like, eh, you know, I, I don't really care for him that much. Um, my husband likes my husband likes some of his stuff and he just plays it at this point just to annoy me. Um uh, I'm okay. I call him Rainbow Dash. <laughs> to be fair though, I did listen to Rex in effect on the low though. I mean quality, quality tastes. I don't blame you. You have to admit he's entertaining. Um entertaining how like in what way we've seen a lot of idiots <laughs> like hold up I'm, oh the shade uh i don't know but i will say oh god i feel so bad saying i feel so sad every time i hear about how he died um king bond i felt like his flow was very um takashi 69 but it was better better lyrics and better volume control because i feel like that dude was just trying to mix metal and hip hop or something. He was screaming. 
Why did they stop that? Okay, show. Um, this dude or this dud was hammering on me for sounding white and liking white people things. Like, dude, as a black person, anything I do is black people things. Exactly. And then I found out that the things that I was liking was started by black people anyway. So we when we said we didn't know our history, just just scream your history at people and share and like, yo, you need to know these things aren't exclusively to white people. Like, oh my God, there's room, there's room. You know what I mean? It's okay to be weird. But I also have a analysis of that, a theory of why black people police each other when it comes to blackness. And I think it has to do with a survival like a survival thing, like how men will correct men for not for their masculinity. They will check that. We will check each other for blackness. And a lot of it has to do with survival and non-survival. But then a lot of that's like, like we weren't allowed to be weird. You know, you know what I mean? Um, we weren't allowed to be weird, you know, that like I was as somebody who was allowed to be weird. A lot of us weren't allowed to I was a lucky exception. My parents allowed me to be weird, although they made fun of me, but you weren't allowed to be weird. Does that make sense? He's never boring, I mean. Yeah, I'll give him that. He doesn't bore me. Snore, no. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stay here for 15 more minutes and then I'm gonna clock out. I don't know if y'all can hear my stomach, but I definitely not need to be drinking this. I need to drink some water. And I'm going to do that. Okay. So 15 more minutes, guys. And I'm going to clock out. I've been on here for about two hours. And, you know, maybe Sundays will be our next live. Because next Sunday I want to I wanna paint. I, the only thing is I won't be able to um, read the comments. If I can get someone to read the comments out loud um in the room with me while I paint that'd be cool and y'all can just watch me I just want to paint I just want to oil paint boo boo I'm like oh god I miss my paints man um it's only been a couple weeks but <laughs> I I want to paint I'm I'm thinking about what I'm gonna paint now and I'm just getting excited about it it might be another self-portrait just because somebody told me I should have paint my look from Christmas that was my brother and I'm like yeah maybe I should I'm about to eat too. I'm starving. And see, I'm fasting. I can't eat nothing. I, I can't eat nothing. Um, so drink that water. Drink that water, man. Just realize it got so dark outside your window. I yeah. <laughs> We've been here for two hours. We started at four o'clock. Two hours and 17 minutes. We started at four o'clock at 6 12 p.m. now. Time flies by. It does. It does. And now I know that people can see what I'm doing. No one, no one would care. People mind their own business where I live. And that's why I like where I live. Um, I like that people mind their own business. Um, but yeah. Oh God, Mama Frostbite. Do my curtains. My mom, my mom's business. Um, this is her, this is her rush. And she's taking off so we can do endless doll houses together and our oak doll house line that we're coming out with. And um, she's just so busy, but she would not allow me to pay for my curtains because she said this is a gift for this room, even though I bought all the other ones because I wanted my stuff done. You know what I mean? I don't want free stuff. I want to support. Let's see. I don't eat a lot. I'm thinking about starting keto. And see, I, 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 I. Keto, like, here's the thing about keto. Um, it's already capitalized way too much. And I'm just like, I'm already going ahead and stop. Like, I I mean, you can find, you can you can be keto all day. Um, I looked at that and I'm like, I can't do, I can't do diets. I, I eat very balanced meals. Like, I try to eat, like, if I'm eating, like, a burger, I will eat a whole a whole kale salad and maybe eat half the burger. Or maybe I eat the full burger and I just eat lots, have lots of greens with it, you know? And stuff like that. I love I love food, so I love a good balanced meal, good balance, good greens. And mm. if y'all see me on um on my I post pictures of the food I'm cooking. Like I cook ramen and I cook um oh Korean barbecue. God, it's been a while. I love it. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. 
Open window giving me anxiety, though. I'm way too paranoid about random creepers just looking through my windows. Doesn't help. I hate wearing trousers. <laughs> I, 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 uh, so my part-time job that I have, I've, um, I got the part-time job, worked it like two, three, I still technically work for my school, um, as a model. And I got so comfortable with my body and I do, I model, I model on the side, but here's the thing though, who, if the, if they ain't holding classes, I can't model. So I, it's been a while. I haven't, I haven't, I've only worked once since um, I graduated. So that's not good. Cause there's, you can't, you can't hire a model for class if they're not holding class. You know what I mean? Let's see. It was good to see you. I'm hopping off. Hope for the rest of your day is good. Thank you. See, I'm, what time is it? What time, what did I say? Okay. It's our 15 minutes is almost up. Um, a model. That's amazing. I've always wanted to model. Um, wait, what model, what model as in the, the naked modeling in our class? Yes. We call it nude modeling. And uh, let me get so, let me get so bougie right now. So in art naked, that word comes from shame. Um, so we say nude because nude just means nude. There's no shame in it. And they also look at you differently. I did portrait modeling. I did portrait modeling for my class to make, because I needed, oh God, I need money for casting grain um, for my directed study class, my senior, my senior semester. And um, yeah, so that was my last semester and I did that. And then I actually was like, yeah, I can do nude modeling. And I tried it and I liked it. It was pretty cool. That's so brave. No, it's not. Uh, it's when I say, if you're in those classes, that was my dream growing up is just to go and paint nude people and get to study get to study like a that was like a real artist and the fact that the, the fact that we had live live um models the, the school provided that for us was so good and um that was my dream i just wanted to paint and be in an art class and paint nude people and to me that was really artsy right and like um not only do you get to learn the body so much better so much look nude gets really there's nothing wrong with the word nude i cannot i cannot anyways so yeah and that basically the artist it's almost like you're wearing clothes it's not a big deal everyone treats you with lots of respect and everyone treats you first off they treat you really really well because they're just like we are you comfortable because you gotta hold this for three hours are you comfortable are you hot are you sweating do you, do you need a break? They, they always ask you questions and it, um, you know, it was, it was really good. Every, it, like it, you feel really comfortable. And I was, I, I did it for the first time I did nude. Um, it was for the Zuckerman museum and that was the museum on campus. And it was for their free event, their open house event where people can come in and draw and they have a model for you. It's really that was really good actually. I I enjoyed that. Um, a lot of freshmen came, some some new faces. It was nice. I always admired folks who could do that and not be blushing all over. <laughs> you kind of get used to it. Like the good environment, you just be like, oh, this is normal for everybody. So all you do is look good. You just gotta pose, 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 pose. You just gotta pose. That's that's it. I, I'd probably pose nude. I recommend it. Um, and it pays very, it pays very well if you can get in. Um, like right now the classes aren't being, a lot of classes aren't being held in person. So even when I went and modeled and it was during the pandemic, I had to wear a mask and that was like once out of the entire semester. And that wasn't even for a class, like per se, you know, it was for a free event. The portrait modeling was for the pandemic, you know, um, do they have a hard time finding people to model? Um, yes and no. Sometimes some like, so the models have been modeling for quite a while. I'm still pretty new at it. And anybody can be a model, any size, any shape, any race. They're looking for a variety of bodies and people to draw. Um, it's very rare to get, that's why I did it because it's very rare to get black models and black male models, especially. 
And then it's very rare to get plus size models. So they're all looking for all of that. So, and it pays, uh, my, my school typically pays um, $20 an hour and each class is about thir like three hours, three hours long each class. And yeah, I have to look into that. Go for it. Um, normally you apply, apply at the university and you do become, you do have some benefits uh, like I forgot what benefits, but you, you will be a contract, a contracted worker, but even though, you know, even though you technically work for the state. Yo, Broken Dolly TV. Is that a Duanis? Sounds like a Duanis. Let's see. Plus size models. Yes. Plus size models. $20 an hour. Yes. Yes. $20 an hour. But right now work is really, really hard to get. Um, uh, yeah, it's really hard to get <laughs> right now because nobody is meeting in person. A lot of people were like, so a lot of people took off as well this semester. Um, from what I know, according to my friends who are still in school. Oh, it's Gypsy and Adonis. What's up? I'm about, I'm going to go eat now. Don't forget to watch Wentworth. I won't, Heather. And if you guys want to, uh, I'll see you guys Wednesday. Um, as you guys don't know, or may you do know, I post in the comments. I post in the comments uh, about after I post, I'm there for about two hours, but I'm always going to, I'll always go back and check back for more questions or anything like that. So maybe we can talk again and I'll probably see you next Sunday. I like Sunday lives. You know, I really should be editing a video because I got to go make a plan to go vote for Tuesday. Where is Bubba? Bubba left. Um, I think Bubba left. I don't, I think Bubba left. I haven't, I haven't heard from them. But, um, oh, guys, if you don't already follow Broken Dolly TV, totally go follow them. They've been putting up, they're coming back. They've been putting up some new stuff. And especially if you guys are um, Barbie lovers per se, that is where, that's who you want to go for that content. Because, you know, I'm, I dabble in Barbie, but I don't, I don't subscribe to Barbie. <laughs> sounds so stupid, but that's, that's basically, basically it. Cause you know, I, I like a more fantasy type doll. Um, but yeah, um, are we, okay. We have like a couple more minutes left and I'm going to go and drink some water, get hydrated. And, um, then I got to come back here and sit and uh, go through this video, go through this video. And I appreciate, I thank you guys for talking. Oh, look, thank you, Adonis. I just, and Gypsy, I just tagged you in our latest upload. We are starting a New Year's challenge for our dog community to have some fun with. Screw this Corona season. Let me go look. Let me go look. Let me go see. Let me go see. Let me go see. Oh, I see it. I see it. Was it on Instagram? Because, um. Hold up. I get I get so distracted going on things. It had to no, no. Okay, I'm I'm looking at it. I thought I saw it. I see the new okay, I see the new challenge. I see it. I see it. It's on my look. I get I get your notifications. I get your oh god, I hate my nails. I'm getting my nails done. I have to do my nails. Okay, but just there. 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 Let's see. Seasonal frostbite is amazing, girl. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we also tagged you and some others on Instagram too. Okay, see, I thought I I thought it was tripping. I said I'm pretty sure I saw the notifications. Okay, later, folks. Have fun and enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye, Shmong. Oh, don't forget to join that Discord I showed you. And yep, we still got a, a little bit more time. I'm clocking out here in, at six thirty. I said fifteen minutes. Because we've been here, we've been here so long. Your hairstyle is dope. Thank you. Everyone is welcome to participate. Yay, notifications. Yes. I get my notifications. Um, I've actually unsubscribed to a bunch of channels that I don't watch anymore. Like, you ever subscribe to somebody just because they cute? Um, <laughs> that was this girl, she was so cute, but she never uploaded. So I had to, she never uploaded anymore. So I need to fix the thumbnail on this video I'm looking I'm looking at right now oh my god I look like I'm five let me fix that thumbnail and um yeah I'm gonna fix that thumbnail later probably not going to I don't care um let's see uh da, da, da. yeah once in a while you gotta cleanse your subscriptions yeah because I was like yeah like 
I thought they were going to upload, but they didn't. So, yeah. Uh, they were cute, though. It was like one hair. I, I, I follow a lot of natural um, hair channels. And there are some people who upload one video. They had one thing to say. And I respect it. I respect it. You had one thing to say. But, um, gosh, I have so, I'm subscribed to so many people. <laughs> and, you know, one of my things that I love being subscribed to are food channels, like um, Emmy Made in Japan. I, I love I love me some Emmy. Um, Gemma's Bigger Boulder Baking, Laura in the Kitchen. Um, I, I love to cook, so I love recipes and new stuff, and I just love all of that. All right. Okay. One more minute, guys, and I'm going to clock out because I'm look. it says 625 here, but this says 230, and I kind of want it to be 230 on the dot. So 2021 is the year. I think we all going to work a bit harder to support each other and keep our online doll content creators motivated, especially the content that is meant for adults. Yes. Um, like, we, like we said on Instagram, um, like we have, especially for adults, we have to support, we have to create our community on here. Are you and Hexian still friends? Yes, we are. Why not? What makes you think otherwise? Yeah, I guess because... I guess because you guys don't see me comment on there over there on anymore, but I'm like, I know what it's like to have a lot of comments in the comment section. So they're not going to see it. So if I have something to say to them, I'll probably tweet them or, or just talk on Instagram, but it's not, you know, but I, I can't explain it. Um, basically when you have a lot of people trying to talk to you at once, I'm going to get sucked up into the void. So if I have something important to tell, to tell him, um, I will find a place to tell him or something. One of these days we got to make a discord because it does get kind of overwhelming when you have so many people commenting at once, and especially the bigger you get. But right now we're comfortable. We're comfortable because we, we're, we're, we're schmedium. <laughs> we're schmedium. So we can just sit here and talk and I can actually read the comments. It's, it's cute. It's fun. We having a good time. We have an unofficial air of competition among some creators, which is ridiculous. So hopefully a handful of us can pioneer more methods of showing unity and positivity. We love Frosty. I love you guys. I guys love you so much, but yeah, we got to bring more positivity. There's room for all of us. What do we, what? We don't, and nobody just watches one person and one video on YouTube. It don't, it don't make any sense. Even, even on Instagram, we don't interact with just one account. And that's dedication if you do, but um, there's room for all of us. And once we build our separate community, we can, we can exist loudly and proudly. You know what I mean? We can be like, okay, yeah, we're adults. We like dolls. What of it, boo-boo? And have our spaces. You know what I mean? Yes, you are pretty without makeup. Thank you. I feel like I look like a baby. Ugh, like, look, look at all this. Ugh, well, this is because I wear my mask right now. I'm still getting rid of it from when I was sick. I had to wear my mask to protect other people in my house. No, I did not have COVID. I had the flu, but I did have to um, protect myself. I, not for myself. I had to protect others from getting sick. So, oh, thank you. Natural beauty. Thank you. All right, guys. Um, we already, I gave y'all two extra minutes. I'm going to go ahead and go. Um, We'll probably be back here next Sunday. Hopefully I can find somebody to uh, read the comments so I can answer questions while I'm painting. Um, probably a good six hours. Like I don't know if I'll complete the painting in the six hours. Like I don't know if I want to go live for six hours and have someone read the comments for six hours. But that's that's my that's how long it takes me to paint because I do Ella Prima painting. And it's going to be different, but y'all going to get some doll content this week on Wednesday. And I will see y'all Wednesday. And thank you guys for being here. We miss you on, yes, we miss you on YouTube. I'm, thank you. I'm glad I was missed because I'm here. I'm here. What did I tell? I forgot somebody commented on the last video. They said, the queen is back. And I said, tell my enemies. Tell my enemies to bend the knee because the queen is back. And I said, okay, chill, chill, girl. You watch way too much Game of Thrones. <laughs> I just like this expression, bend the knee. Let me, let me get my ass out of here. <laughs> Big plastic hugs. That's so funny. All right, guys. Um, thank you guys for being here. And remember, um, 
God, what is my, I keep, I need to remember my, my ending tro. I have it in my head, but go out into the world and create something awesome. If you don't, you're going to carry that weight. See you space cowboys. Oh wait, hold on. Let me read this. <laughs> Stop. I'm doing the black people leaving now. Okay. I'm, I'm at the car now. Come on. I'm at the car. As a Game of Thrones book nerd, the show sucked balls. <laughs> the ending was trash. I'm, I'm going to go. Okay. Thank you for spending some time with your Dolly friends. Yes. All right, guys. See you, Space Cowboys. And straight. Okay. And place. <laughs>